You are listening to the Crazy Town Podcast, Season 2, Episode 24. TNT. Yo. Oh, it's with Jones and TNT Dynamite. Yeah. Yeah, we're here, yeah. as always. <laughs> it's se- the Season 2 finale, man. Is it? You think with all these opening of the shows that this one should have came natural? What? <laughs> no, no, no. And guess what else it is? What else? Episode 50. Is the the 50th fucking episode yo, of the podcast. Text me when it's episode 69. That'll be next season. That one means more to me than episode 50. <laughs> right, right. So, also joining us today on the show, Josh Meyer will be here for a little while. Yeah. Once again, bringing the hot fire. Yeah. Also, we're going to play Are You Urban with the Beardy Five podcast. But guess what, guys? TNT Dynamite is hosting Are You Urban this time. Yeah, host it up. I'm ready for this TNT. I'm going to fucking bring the fire. You better. I am. Don't you worry. I'm expecting some fucking Mitch Hedgeberg type of uh, antidotes. Wow, I Act- figured it'd be antidote. more natural for you after yeah. that intro. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry, TNT. I'll fall flat on my face and disappear. <laughs> Anyways, normally these little intros have some quirky little facts. But you know what I got about, you know what I got? Well, they usually do. They got some quirky facts about, like, pineapple jellyfish and shit. All right, all right. Today I'm dropping some knowledge. You Well, you got a word? What's no. Your, what's your word? I'm break, breaking crazy town news for the folks at home. Today's the last episode of season two, TNT. But guess what? What's that? This is the end of the Crazy Town podcast as we know it. <laughs> you do realize I know all of this information, right? <laughs> we're, no one at home knows. This we're isn't break, new to me. This is breaking news to the folks. <laughs> all right. All right. I, I, cool, I, guys. I, we we live together. We're, we're not going away. <laughs> right now, our episodes are every two weeks. We're bi-weekly. Yes. So we edit them. We record them. We put them out. Yep. But starting in season three, which comes this fall, dun, dun, dun. the Pirate Crazy Down podcast will be weekly moving forward. <sighs> yeah, we're going to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> also, here's the biggest part of that. The shows will be live on Twitch with video. We haven't determined what day they're going to be or anything like that. That's still kind of working it out. But they will be live every week. We're going to try to maybe figure out you guys can call in or some shit. Maybe. We'll fit, we'll work on it. Yeah, yeah. TNT. There's some intricacies we can build upon. This shit is going to be a disaster. Yeah, well, maybe. Hey, right, we'll figure it out. We'll see how it goes. Follow us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash crazytownmedia. You can uh, check out live streams and the podcast. We will upload the show to the YouTube channel and post the audio on our podcast the same as it's always been. If you only want to listen to it, it'll all be the same. Yeah. We don't have a definitive start date for season three or crazy town podcast live but it'll come out somewhere october november probably in the meantime we will release some bonus episodes that are more of more mediocre moments best ofs a couple more get to know the host episodes and i'll also put out an are you urban anthology and an interview anthology what do you think about that tnt you excited oh yeah i'm i'm pumped dude let's fucking get in there and and Do some fucking reruns. (laughs) (laughs) I love the enthusiasm. All right, guys. Well, now you know the breaking news coming with the crazy town. Enjoy the season two finale, everybody. Finale of season two of the Crazy Town <laughs> Podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. TNT D I N O M I G H T. Guess what, on, TNT? Guys? We got a special guest host back again with us. Oh man, I'm waiting with bated breath. Who could it be? It's the eighth time he's appeared on our podcast, Mr. Chachmeyer. What's up, buddy? Has it really been eight times? What's up, man? 
<laughs> yeah, it's been the eighth, it's the eighth fucking time he's he's popped his little fucking head up uh, on the podcast. Oh, shit. So, uh, Josh, you want to say hello to everybody and uh, tell them what he's been up to since hello. the last time? <laughs> I am Josh Meyer. I am the one to blame. <laughs> We've been doing just hanging out, fucking waiting, waiting to fucking appear on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out, getting blamed for things, you know, oh, okay. how it goes. I think it's great how, how we treat Chachi like he's like our cameo guest star appearance when he's just like <laughs> some dude that sits in his room, <laughs> like goes to work like everybody else. No way! Chachi's a very special guest on our podcast, dude. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a very special guy that sits in his room and goes to work okay, every day. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you that. I'll give all you right, that. fair enough. Well, we do want to thank you all for listening to this season finale episode. Of course, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Crazy Town Media. That's where all of our gaming stuff is. Our podcasts are there. We got some concert videos. And we will continue to do gaming videos even in the podcast off-season. Of course, follow us on Twitch. Check out Crazy Town Media. Search for Crazy Town. You'll find us. We're going to be twitching games. And, uh, of course, if you want to follow us on Twitter, at the Crazy Town Pod and at Crazy Town Media. If you do not follow us, by the time I finish talking about it right now, Uncle Tony will leave you at the zoo and take it mauled by a tiger. Uncle Tony, what did you do at Grandma? He left her to get mauled by a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was something. And of course, the cornucopia of continuous information, thecrazytown.com. So, guys, it's the fucking season finale. We got Chachi back. Dun, we got a great show planned. Got a great show planned. I bet. Later today, the Beardy Five guys are stopping by. We're going to play Are You Truly Urban with guest <laughs> host TNT Dynamite. And Jonas is going to play with the Beardy Five guys. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, you ready? Yeah. You ready for that team? I am. All right, I'm. I'm ready. <laughs> maybe. All right. We also got, of course, the normal stuff on the podcast. We got some crazy stories, some shit going on. But before any of that gets started, TNT Dynamite, are you ready for the final fucking learning with TNT Dynamite word of the season? I am. Oh, okay. I am. Well, what is it? One thousand percent ready. Uh, well, let me ask you a question. Yes. Have you heard of, uh, the disease? It's, uh, the Ligma disease. Ligma? Yeah. I don't believe so, no. L-I-G-M-A. I don't believe so, no. Never heard of Ligma. Ligma balls, oh, bitch! Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right, that, that was that was that was one of my words. I can do another. Why you one. start ligma? That's, that's <laughs> that is a word. That's like on the very beginning of the fucking C- I season. Take your phone, Google ligma, and tell me you don't get a ligma no, no, ball. No, we're not using ligma as the final word. You can you can use a ligma ball. All right, fine. But hold I'll, on, that you know what that reminds me of? What's that? Back on season or back on episode one and one and point five of season two you pulled a similar joke on cam girl kyra kane I did do that, the cam girl episode yes so if you want to go back to episode one and episode 1.5 you can hear what joke he pulls on her it's pretty slick like that <laughs> all right what's your Such real word me. all right the word is actually Salcon. how do you spell that s-a-w-c-o-n is that a it's like a con for saw fans no not quite, even though that would be great. That would actually, to go to that. actually, it's <laughs> suck on my dick. <laughs> you son of a I bitch. I win. All right, you're a real word. No, that was it. Oh, you. My words me. was ligma and sawcon. Ligma slash sawcon. <laughs> son of a bitch. I'm telling you, those words are trending right now. I'm keeping everybody in tune with Keep the kids. Keep them in the loop? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the meme culture right. aficionado. Well, as we announced in the preamble, prelude to the show, Chachmar, I don't think you're aware of this. The hmm. show is going live next season on Twitch with video. Oh, nice. Yes. So make sure you subscribe to Twitch. It'll be under Crazy Town Media. That's where the podcast will be. And uh, you can watch it live weekly, unless mm. it fucking is a disaster, and then we'll turn it back. Weekly. Yes, then uh, unless it's a disaster, we'll turn it back to the way it is now. But you know what? We like to we like to pu- push the envelope at the Crazy Town Podcast. We like to be yeah. progressive, move forward. <laughs> I don't know. That's all that shit. All right, guys, we're gonna get right into it today. You know what I have? Uh, 
You know what I have first for us here? <laughs> Hopefully it's something greatly entertaining. Um, it might be. Seven awesome animal defense mechanisms. Okay. How animals in their na- native hood defend themselves from threats. Do animals have Oh, hoods? I thought you meant like how we were going to defend ourselves against animals. <laughs> <laughs> like Chachi, naturally. How do you defend yourself from a bull? Go. Yeah, what do you do, Chachi? From a bull? Um, don't get in the ring or <laughs> don't run be with on the road when they're running. An ounce of provision is worth a pound of cure. <laughs> It sure is. <laughs> How would you defend yourself? Well, I wouldn't be in the situation to get attacked, yeah. for one. Yes. Uh, Chachi, always going so, with fucking... I mean, no. it's a bull. It's not like... <laughs> yes, Chachi. Bulls is a bull. run in the wild. It's not like yes. you're going to be, like, you know, frolicking through the woods and all of a sudden, oh, a bull. Chachi, what if you woke up tomorrow morning and walked out of your bedroom to go to the bathroom and there was a bull in your hallway and it was yeah, coming at you full bore? I would walk back in my bedroom. Okay, so walking back in the bedroom, that's All another right, good so one. How do you beat a bull? You walk back <laughs> in the bedroom. Door. Walk away. Close doors. That's how you beat a bull. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, everyone have... carry a door around with you from now on moving forward. <laughs> if you ever get attacked by a bull, just close the door. Hooves aren't thumbs. <laughs> they aren't. It can't open. Exactly. It can't go around. It has, you know, it's like it's like a vampire. You have to invite it in your house. So the bull, unless you invite him <laughs> into your door, he can't go around. Anyways. Mm-hmm. This is how actual animals in their hoods, natural habitats, natural habitats Mm. are going to defend themselves. Mm. Get a little crazy on the Crazy Town podcast. Okay. All right. The first one. It's Octopotheus Deletron. It's a lot of fucking words. (laughs) O-C-T-O, like octo, P-O-T, pot, E-U-T-H-I-S, Octopodutus, okay, sure. Deletron, D-E-L-E-T-R-O-N. This is a squid. And when it attacks a predator, when it's attacked by a predator, it breaks off its own arm. Oh, and then it regenerates? And then the arm continues to glow and wiggle, hmm. distracting the predator while the squid escapes. And oh. I imagine, yeah, it probably grows back. It doesn't say how long it takes. <laughs> but imagine if, like, imagine if, like, you got jumped by a bunch of guys, and you could just like break your arm off and run away. <laughs> break your <laughs> it arm just, off. It stays glowing. It just, yeah, it just flows and flops on the ground, and they're like looking yeah. at it while you run. Yeah. yeah, and then they like they like think they're actually attacking you still because they're not they're not. In a <laughs> I sleep. think most people would run away if they ripped a limb from your body and it started growing. <laughs> <laughs> like that's that's a problem like yeah like four dudes like jump you and all of a sudden you like they grab your arm and you're just like you just pull away real fast and it just starts glowing blue like like one of those ominous like like wah wah yeah. <laughs> fucking glows yeah you can you can handle that just put a band-aid on it a little hand sanitizer yeah <laughs> <laughs> so chats we're playing resident evil 7 on the channel yeah uh right now and uh do you, do you play that at all Played through it, yes. Okay. In the very beginning, you know, like when you after you get through the first house and you end up at the dinner table with the family, and then like uh, the 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 guys like chasing you around the house for a little while. Do you remember that? Okay. I see. I see where you're getting this like this severed limb part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did he? Did he? Okay. The first time it happened, he like he did he cut your fucking leg off and like in like in in like tease you to come get like a potion and then like you pour the water on your leg and it reattached i think i if i can remember he just cuts your arm off and then like yeah it's different then you like pass out and by the time you wake up it's sewn back on because you know that's how that's how bones and ligaments work you know you just no 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 that was the very first part i'm talking about the second part where like you're at the table now anyways dude i was playing it remember that and Fucking, all of a sudden, the guy pushed me over, cut my leg off with a shovel, and then he's like, here's a first aid kit if you can get it, and I had to, like, crawl to it, got the first aid kit, and literally took my leg, put it to where it should be, poured the water over it, and it reattached. That, that kind of sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I you know, that's know. how legs work. Like, you're you're in for it here, okay? And let me just, I'll just I'll just say that. Like, I played the big game. And you're Yeah, don't don't spoil it yet. I'm right in the I just got out to the garden. Spoil it. I'm just gonna say you're that's not gonna be what you're remembering by the time you're done with all this. Yeah. <laughs> because oh, there's so a lot more to go. Yeah. There's all a right. lot more to go. <laughs> alright, alright. <laughs> Next, the Texas horned lizard. Okay. Yeah. 
Don't make any horny jokes, TNT. I know you're. How I know am you're I making the joke if you make the joke already? I'm, ta- I'm, I'm, I'm inhibiting you. You are not inhibiting me. I was ready for the <laughs> intellectual response. Thank oh, you. were you? That's yes. how you're going. You're changing your tone. I've, I've been PC dynamite for like minutes now. <laughs> Josh, you ever heard of the Texas horned lizard? No. Okay. I've heard of a, I've heard of a horned lizard. Yes, Texas horned, horned lizard. Horned I'm assuming it's big. You know, because everything's uh, bigger in Texas. <laughs> right. It is. It's three times the size of any other lizard. He makes a valid argument. He does. <laughs> All right. So this lizard already has a spiky exterior. But if it's threatened, it shoots blood out of its eyes. What at its, pr- <laughs> at its prey. At its predator. That's like its happened. own blood? Its own blood. <laughs> I would like, it, like to see that. Can it, like, <laughs> like kill itself doing that? Well, what it says, it says it can st- it can stream a shot of blood up to five feet, and it's mixed with a foul tasting chemical. So it basically shoots it shoots the blood into the mouth of its opponent, <laughs> and then like it gets a bad taste, and they're like, "Oh, Ooh, that's dirty. I thought that would be cantaloupe, and that's, it tastes like ass." That's a dirty fighting right there. Right. It says it can shoot out up to one third of its blood supply doing it this way. <laughs> A That's third of your blood supply. So how many pints of blood does the human body have? Seven? That would, that would make it anemic. It might be. But I imagine it regenerates pretty fast. It's a small animal. I mean, I guess. How many How many pints of blood does the human blood uh, no, buy? Seven-ish? I'm not a scientist. What, that Married with Children episode where he was giving away all his blood? <laughs> <laughs> anyways how is that your your reference well uh, anyways imagine if like imagine the same scenario you get jumped by a bunch of guys and you can shoot blood out of your eyes blood. at them I'll, i need my blood it's like a stigmata yeah <laughs> i stigmata it's a little like bit. you fucking you get jumped and all of a sudden you just have stigmata right yeah. that'd be interesting so that's the texas horned lizard Next, the hairy frog of Central Africa. <laughs> Next, we're magically whisked away to Central Africa, everyone. You got your game show voice <laughs> yeah, I know, on right? fucking fleek today. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it going. <laughs> this hairy frog of Central Africa can crack its own toe bones. All right, and... stop. <laughs> this I'm like Walt Winkleman. Fucking, hi, I'm Walt Winkleman. Um. All right, it can crack its own toe bones and pushes them through its skin to form sharp claws. Wolverine, so, yeah, X Man, like Wolverine. The wolf- yeah, so this, wolf- yeah, it already is hairy, That's and then it cracks its toes. The Wolverine frog. The Wolverine. I like frog. that idea. I, Yeah, who named this? Maybe. Oh, Wolverine probably wasn't like around when they yeah, invented this awesome. frog. Or that's, discovered this frog. Dude, that's awesome. It. What's the name of that thing? I gotta look up pictures. The hairy of. frog of Central Africa. It's a frog that has claws, bone claws. Yeah, well, it breaks its bones and shoves them through like a That's fucking, fucking bone. Amazing. Claw. Okay, but so <laughs> does it have hair? It does. It says it's a hairy frog. It has like a fine hair, and okay. it, and it pops its bone through. Because if thing. it didn't have hair and it just popped its bones through its skin to have claws, then whoever named that species is a complete idiot. Yeah, right? <laughs> I just saw your mouth gape open wide. Are you, are you looking at a picture of this TNT? Yeah. You know what? <laughs> I thought hey, they're not as impressive as I thought. But it is pretty – it's more like saber tooth because he gets them on, like, the ends of his fingers. Oh, like, instead of it coming out of, like, the knuckle, it comes out the end. Well, it comes out, like, the uh, the bottom part of its finger. So I, I'm assuming that I could probably use them to climb as well. It has, like, a bone in its finger that looks like a scorpion tail, and it just kind of, like, clips down, like, a little tiny, like, oh, half a like centimeter a, claw a comes out. claw coming out of a paw. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's kind of like that, but it's still awesome. I just, I just pictured, like, like imagine, like, us, like, just cracking and it's just shoving them <laughs> through the flesh. Like, <laughs> it's like, crack, and you're just like, oh. Fucking bone chalice. Those, those sound effects really help the crowd. <laughs> yeah, the crowd, the crowd knows what's going on. What, Trot? Oh, I was just laughing. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you said something. Mm-hmm. All right. The next one it is a newt. It's the Spanish ribbed newt. Rib for her pleasure. Ha <laughs> ha! See, I <laughs> told you you were gonna make the joke. You said you... that was that was topical. Yeah, the horny frog was too, and you blamed me and said I was putting <laughs> fall- fallacies, th- putting phalluses in your mouth. You... <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> All right, what does this fucking newt do? Okay, so this rib newt, it. It has, like, a row of spikes kind of on either side of its body, like, that are natural in its skin. But if it feels threatened, 
it then jams its rib bones through its flesh on each side of its body. Basically, like, so if anything tries to grab it, it, like, Wolverine claws its ribs through his ribs. Oh, so that's, that's Marrow. That's an X-Man. He's that, like, <laughs> fucking, these are all X-Men tropes. <laughs> that? Yeah, that's Marrow. So, basically, the guy who liked the X-Men was really into, like, animals. <laughs> like, animals who could protect themselves well. He's like, hmm, yes. what's the next X-Men? Hmm. I want a uh, like like uh the guy who can make himself invisible like a chameleon. Is there a guy that can do that? Isn't there a, is it, what's night isn't Nightshade? Night <laughs> Night no I don't know. I don't know. Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler he can teleport. Oh okay. Are there any animals that can teleport? <laughs> the next one the teleporting <laughs> blubber whale of New England. <laughs> no. <laughs> so so what does it do with the bone stuff? The newt? Yeah. Yeah, it, like, it just forces them out, and I think it just pulls them back in, and then it, like, it, so it's not really, I think those little bumps must be, like, a open wound all the time. I don't know. No. Not, like, open, but, like, it, like, maybe there's a hole there, so it can, it protrude. Does I don't it know. like, have, like, inner chakra to help it heal, like, Kimabara? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has, it has a lot of chakras, dude. Does it? Lots right. of chakras. This, these newts, newts and chakras go hand in hand. Are all of them raised by Mochiraru? Uh, probably. Okay. I don't know what that is, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got it, maybe. I, I did not. I, I'm, not <laughs> I'm not that cool, I guess. I kind of got it, so I'm with. Oh, did you? What is that? Okay, let's let's elaborate. The let's go. Don't put Chach on the spot. No, no, Don't gonna, put Chach on the I'm spot. Not gonna I'm not going to explain. Not Chach. I'm asking you. You want to ask me? It was it was just an, it's a Naruto. Uh, oh, it's I got gotcha. it. It was a Naruto. Yeah, I was going to say the only thing I can tell you is I've been watching some anime lately, so that's about. Chach, are you watching Naruto? I've I've watched some of the movies. Or like Josh, we're gonna we're gonna totally fucking dork out after. You guys are so fucking cool. I don't even know if I can contain There's myself. There's nothing right. wrong with anime. Jones. I never said that it was. I said you guys were cool. You're gonna watch some anime. Yeah, I've I'm watched. The, watch uh, oh, are you? Oh boy, <laughs> I've watched some Naruto. I've watched uh, my my favorite right now is probably like One Punch Man. That is like the best. <laughs> One Punch Man. It is so good. If there was anything, if I was going to actually like force you to watch anime, I would start you on. That One reminds Punch me Man. of like Doom Fist from Overwatch. Oh, One Punch yeah, Man. A little bit. Is it kind of the same deal? He's one big fist and he punches yeah. people. There's actually a One Punch Man reference in Overwatch. Oh really? I Doom Fist. I have seen Fist of the North Star. So I okay, like, and I've seen Ninja Scroll, and I've seen that's the one everybody's seen. Yeah, and. uh... I think I no yeah I think that's it those two. Dude, one this is the North Star was neat when I was like fifteen. One Punch Man is amazing. All right, but I'll let's get back. Let's get back to back the animals. to the animals who can defend themselves. Are, is there any One Punch oh, lizards? Was, one Punch Termite. Also, oh, I was gonna say also I've watched uh, Full Metal Alchemist, and that's pretty probably where those terms came to me the most. Oh, talking about I don't know. And stuff like that. But all right, we're like, done with anime on the Crazy Town podcast. <laughs> we I'm talking can't. about. You don't want to do an anime podcast? Uh-uh. No, I'm good. <laughs> I can't be that cool, guys. I didn't know you were racist. Uh, yes. Because <laughs> anime watchers are a race. That's right. I forgot. I'm born from the anime, man. Oh, they have cons and stuff. Yeah, because cons are always cool. Saw con is my I favorite. would go to saw con. <laughs> Yeah, I bet you would go to suck on there, dude. All, All right. right. Give, me, All give right. me your next animal. Give me the next animal. We're getting off topic. We are definitely getting off topic with all this anime. Got an anime boner hey, over there. The size of you asked. Good year blimp. You asked. <laughs> all right. There's a termite that it's found in French Guiana rainforest. So what they do is if they feel their colony is in trouble, they they send the old termites – the ones who are past their prime, out to see what's going on. <laughs> Your gunfire, go outside, Grandpa. Yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> Hey, what's going on out there? Grandpa, go check it out. Right. Like, you don't want to send, like, the, the young, virile man out there. Honestly, it makes a lot of sense. So what happens is, when they go out there, they expand their abdomen until it ruptures and they explode. Oh, what the fuck? Yes. Is... They send Grandpa on a suicide mission to defend the colony. <laughs> wow. He basically, over time, termites develop toxic crystals that produce glands in their abdomen. Produced by glands in their abdomen. This is this brand species. Brand. Term, brand of brand termite. Of termite. <laughs> yeah, the Ajax brand termite. 
Okay. It's like Acme from the Looney Tunes. Fucking, yeah, exploding termites. Uh, over time, they develop toxic crystals. When they mix with saliva, it creates a toxic liquid that explodes on enemies, paralyzing them and killing the termite. All right, I got I got one question. All right. Like, how many years of research did it take for these termites to come up with this tactic? Huh. Like, I just don't understand. Oh, like how they figure out they can yeah, do Yeah, like, really? Because that's well, one mean, of those things, like... How do humans figure out the weird shit they can do? They're bored. But, like, it's like the ultimate figure out because you kill yourself. They're all like, man, I got these things forming in my abdomen. What if I put my spit on them? <laughs> Boom. And then they're like, oh, shit. They paralyzed all their friends. And Larry like, just Holy fucked fuck. up. Holy fuck. They're like, Gary, just, they just help us figure it out. His Gary. Name Larry. What? His name is Larry. Gary. Larry. Larry? Larry the termite? Yeah, that makes more sense. Oh, okay, that's right. So then after that, they were like, oh, next time we mix the saliva with them, we'll go out next to like But the- they're, they're stupid animals. It sounds good <laughs> coming like from a sentient being, but these are termites. I mean, how does a guy figure out he can like- Put a lamp in his ass or something. He's bored. He just... I'm the guy that has to be censored. So like, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. Like I don't know. It just seems weird to me that these termites. I mean, sure they've been on the planet for hundreds and millions of years or whatever the fuck. But like, how did they figure out that this was the thing to do? And then enough intuition, ingenuity to come up with the idea of send the exploding termites out as the first line of defense. Well, I mean, it's just kind of evolution, man. Like everybody, like ants, ants have like something bees. Yeah. Bees have a similar, you know, they send yeah. out bees to do bee things. Dude, it's weird. Dude, I saw a video online yesterday with this guy and he fucking was pulling a hornet's nest out of like a shed and it was like literally it was built on the ground and he had on the beekeeper uniform, but he had like the camera set up pointing into the doorway and the entire time all you heard was it was fucking hornets attacking the camera (laughs) and then he literally the nest was built into the wall and ground it was like not inside the wall it was like he was pulling shit out of the the nest like a bucket and random shit he literally grabbed a piece of the nest that was as big as like a fucking oh my god dude bigger than like a toaster oven and he was like oh this is all a nest and he just like threw it out of the shed and he's like look at all these queens i was like oh i would like i would have shit my pants i was going to say where Definitely where is that video from like where does that guy live we'll say florida oh don't, I don't tell know, me that say florida <laughs> definitely florida sorry <laughs> no i don't know I, he didn't say where no, he was it's, from it's florida i mean yeah, there's, dude, that's up. there's I a lot of like scary fucking bugs down here but like i don't want to know about like meadows like uh Palmetto, a, a raid of fucking <laughs> hornets. <laughs> venomous hornets. Yeah, like fucking attack yourself hornets. Teleporting venomous hornets with yeah. razor claws. Hornets with razor claws. Yeah. I fucking hate bees so much. Really? Oh, I fucking hate I don't them. hate them. They're I just... hate them. Wow, okay. Hate. <laughs> I don't hate a lot of things. I hate bees. Really? Fuck them. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you're, uh, That's how I feel about them. Hagfish eels, everybody. Sorry, all of our bee listeners out hey, there. Hey, anyone who hives bees, good for you, man. You're doing the cause. Yeah. We need honey, right? Well, you probably just lost us like yeah. 10% <laughs> of our viewership. <laughs> yeah, we have a big beekeeper community <laughs> fucking that listens to the Crazy Town <laughs> podcast, of course. This motherfucker hates free enterprise. I know. All right. <clears throat> Hagfish eels. They slime their enemies. I've heard of these. So basically what happens is when they feel in danger, they emit a slime out of their body that when mixed with the water around them forms a gelatinous goo. Ew. So what that ends up doing, though, if it, w- it either traps their predators or if it's like a fish or something with gills, that slime clogs their gills and kills them, <laughs> suffocates them. So, so it's like, oh, you want to fuck with me? You're dead. <laughs> And he gets away. Like, how fucked up is that? It can just secrete mucus. Yeah. No, there's definitely an X-Men that does that. <laughs> Toad, I think. <laughs> dude, these are all X-Men yeah. animals, dude. They are. You should have just named it that. <laughs> X-Men <laughs> animals. I should have. I could have been more clever. That's what, like, in the title, it'll say X-Men animals. Yeah. And, that, and now people will be like, oh, I want to know what an X-Men is. Oh, that tricky Jonas. So they're all mutants. <laughs> they're all mutants. Yeah, yeah, they're all mutants. They're, they're mutants. All right, then. And we're the Sentinels. Of course, we have this one, the possum, the opossum, depending. On where. Possums don't do shit, but like hiss no, at you. No, it says okay. We possums play dead, you oh, know, okay. to, to to prevent attackers or whatever. But what I didn't know when I read this article that playing dead is involuntary. 
when they get scared and under stress, they fall into a comatose state that can last for hours. They can't uh, control it. Really? And so, so it, and the fear also causes them to emit a death-like stench as well. So, like, they get scared. They basically, like, shit themselves and are paralyzed. Really? Yeah, I didn't know that. I thought they just played dead. It's like they huh. can't help it. Wow. Hey, there's an X-Man. There's an X-Man that does that, too. I'm pretty... Who plays dead and shit their pants? <laughs> is, that, is that Professor X? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now, but it, it, what do you mean? It does sound like something like Deadpool would do. <laughs> oh no, man, we need we need more handicapped humor on the show. Oh, you know? that was great. That was <laughs> it was, dude, because his legs don't work. Oh, is that? <laughs> <That's not laughs> <even old. laughs> All right, here's himself. here's the last one. I, I'm sure. <laughs> I love how you laugh the hardest at, like, the most raw material. Oh, my God. All right. This last one, the sea cucumber. Okay. I've heard of so these guys, it can, too. So it can regenerate lost body parts like a starfish or a sea urchin. These things just look like a log of shit, too. Kind of, yeah, yeah. They're gross. So it says what happens is when they when they get fear, they shoot their inter- internal organs out of their body through their anus. At their predator, the organs are sticky and expel a toxic chemical that can kill predators. So they basically shit their organs out yeah. at whoever's attacking. Haven't you ever seen Jackass? No, did they do that? Did in they Jackass? Do that? The, I think it was Stevo and Chris Pontius uh, grabbed two sea cucumbers and act like they were jerking themselves off with them, and they oh have these God. like Shot the <laughs> these little like streamers that come out of them. And at, at oh my God. Tachi, you're ruining you're ruining the highbrow show. Hey man, this is yeah. a family friendly show. You can't hate me because I'm cultured and I watch movies. <laughs> was cultured. It, was it Wild Boys or was it Jackass? I want to say it was Jackass Two. Oh, okay, that's well, crazy. Oh fucker! I never saw that. One. I, I I saw it, but I don't remember. I, I vaguely remember. It sounds like something the Jackass guys would do yeah. for sure. <laughs> so. But guys, that's all I got for the for the X Men animals. X Men animals. What, what do you think? What would be the best way for a human to defend themselves like this? If we could mutate ourselves to defend ourselves in a weird ass way, what would you want to do? Would you be able to shit your organs out? Would you want to be able to protrude your ribs from your body? Would you like to be able to rip your arm off and make it glow? Shoot blood out of your eyes? <laughs> uh, play involuntary play dead. <laughs> Uh, or what was the other one? Uh, shoot slime that could cover and yeah, it wouldn't mucus. like really do the same thing. Or yeah, I think that's all. Chachi, right. what, what kind of defense? Which would one you out want? of the ones we picked? Which one would you want to be able to do I, to defend yourself, Chachi? I would have to go with the shoot blood out your eyes because that's absolutely terrifying. Dude, you're not getting <laughs> any dates. Well, you know, it's blood like blood on is you. oozing out of your eyes all the time. I'm assuming there's probably <laughs> some leakage. <laughs> it's a defense mechanism. It's like it's not a lactation. It's just a fucking. It's so just, yeah, you're going to town on your wedding night because I know neither one of you would have sex until you were married. And you're going, you're going at it on your wedding night, and then you just like, oh, and you shoot blood all over her face, and like, come wow. on, wow, yeah, that'd be scary. <laughs> that'd be Imagine scary. like the girls on top, and all of a sudden you get too excited, you just start shooting blood like a fountain. Yeah, there's, there's somebody listening with the biggest heart on right now. I know. Right? <laughs> what about you, TNT? Which one would you? I'm pick? not taking one from the list. I want what the porcupines do. I want to be able to, like, make my hair into, like, super sharp spikes and shit. Okay, if you and had then, to pick one off the list, because that was the question. Well, I'm, I've told you. I you're don't like, fuck pick. you and your list. Yeah, this is, you I'm, wanna, you I'm, I'm a regular on the show. I'm, I get to make rules, so that's the one I'm taking is right. porcupine shit. What do you take? You can take one off the list. I like your idea. You that's wanna, good. You want to shit fucking your organs out? No. I'm wondering if they die after that, though. Cause, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. They yeah. regen. They said they were gen, like starfish. Oh, okay. I so guess. if you could just shoot your intestines, I mean, I don't think they would die Probably seeing this a defense mechanism. If it, if it if they did die, then it yeah. it would just be the way they die. It wouldn't be a defense. I feel mechanism. like you can only defend yourself like once every like ninety days. <laughs> yeah, or something. probably. Like, come on, you know, I, like, I can't be like, shitting my organs out every just other day. Like here. once every life. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I would like to. I would like to to explode my abdomen, but I don't want to die afterwards. Like if like someone co- like like if someone walks up, starts talking shit, I could just my abdomen would explode at them. 
but then I didn't die, that would be fucking freaky. There's, there's an X-Man that does that, too. His abdomen just explodes? Is he Spider-Man? Da-da-da, <laughs> 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 get it? <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to wrap this segment up about these animals, and we will be right back on the season finale of the Crazy Town Podcast. <laughs> Where am I? And we are back on the season finale episode of the Crazy Town Podcast with Jonas, TNT Dynamite, and Chachmeyer. You, guys. Yep. Yes. I'm gonna. We're gonna talk about life's hard pills to swallow, and basically mm. what this is, it's statements that sometimes people don't realize are true as fuck about life, but it's what people don't want to hear about life. We've talked about – last time I think we had, we had talked about uh, sayings that are total bullshit. This is just things that are true about life, but people sometimes are – I don't know if they want to pretend they aren't true. But hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll go through them. We'll kind of quick hit on them. I don't want to spend too much time talking about any of them. We'll just get a little bit of an opinion. Number one, your body wears down over time. <laughs> no shit. Take care of your back, knees, and teeth. All right. That's mm-hmm. it, man. You're fucking, <laughs> yeah. I mean, a lot of people, dude. You, think you heard them, kids. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy A lot of people town. think they're invincible, man. They eat whatever they want. They fucking don't take care of themselves. And they become, then they're like, you know, 40 years old and they can't get out of bed. Okay. All right. You know? All right. Some some nice little uh, wholesome hints for life. Some life hacks. Yeah, life hacks. <laughs> like Don't fucking do backflips in, in the street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a common thing kids are doing these days. <laughs> doing unpadded backflips on the city streets again. Yeah. God damn you, motherfucking kids. <laughs> Number two. All right. People usually don't care about you as much as you care about them. Oh, I don't know. That's mm. pretty deep because I don't give a fuck about anybody. <laughs> You're like, if I don't give a fuck about anybody, then what the fuck is yeah, that? Yeah, they fucking really No, I don't just give think that a lot of me. people... They uh they assume that you know if they give a fuck about somebody like or, and they're always willing to help out their whoever that that will always be reciprocated no matter what, and then if someone doesn't help them they get fucking butt hurt man they like yeah. oh man I've always helped so and so do whatever and now they're fucking not gonna help me do this so the key is is never love <laughs> the, the, <laughs> what I'm really getting at is don't love or care about anyone yeah see I know it they know it. Yeah, that's very true. If they know it. Like, everyone's like, oh, yeah, TNT's they, so right. <laughs> I, do, I, do. I broke yep. down barriers right Once now. Once you shut down your heart to love, the oh, world opens up an it, entirely different place. It really does. I've been working on that over the last few months. <laughs> it really does. So there's a side note to this one. They, You know, everybody's, like, always like, well, I mean, I'm not. I don't think any of us are. But there's a lot of people who are super self-conscious about, like, everything. They're like, oh, I can't I can't go outside in a tank top because people are going to notice I have flabby arms or just any dumb shit like that. The truth of it is people really don't give a fuck. Like, you are essentially a side character in everyone else's life. You're like yep. an NPC in yep. an RPG game to yep. everyone else. <laughs> like, if you're at the gym in a shirt that's too tight, do you think anybody really gives a fuck that you're in the, at the gym in a shirt that's too tight and you can see your fucking stomach? Nope. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody cares. You care ten times more than anyone else. That's that, uh, there was a, when I took psychology, there was a term for that, like imaginary audience or some shit, I think it was. It's like, uh, like if you see somebody driving a shitty car, like, can you remember the person that was driving that shitty car you like still laughing at yourself to this day from that time you saw the guy who had a black door and a red door on his car and in the fucking like the and obviously been in an accident you don't remember any of that no uh, it depends on how <laughs> shitty and how funny the situation that, was okay i'll give you we that. remember the car if it's particularly shitty but Some, i'm not uh, thinking about the person sometimes that. the person is tied into that Oh, God damn it, he's right. Like, you see this <laughs> shitty car, and then you see this total douchebag driving it? Yeah, or like a, like a fucking drag queen or something. Like, if I saw a drag queen driving around in, like, a jalopy with, like, a fucking Ford Mustang front end and, like, a, a Hummer backy, I'm going to remember that for life. Well, I mean, true. honestly, like, I, I remember I was, I was working at the liquor store, and uh, I went outside to have a cigarette, and I saw a car drive by that had no doors on it at all. Like, oh. not, you know, not like a Jeep, you know, like literally, a, a, like, I want to say it was a Cavalier. 
Um, and dude was wearing just boxers. Well, man, you'll remember that for a... Josh, you're totally fucking destroying my No, no, he, no, 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 but, like, he's not, like, running around telling, like, hundreds of people. Yeah, yeah like, every day of his life, his goal is to tell as many people about this guy. He doesn't even know the guy's name. No. Right? Like, he's like, John Smith. Even though you but, just told hundreds but of honestly, people. honestly, that um, image burns into your brain. Yeah. That's like, true. Like, like, you're talking about those situations right now, and I'm recalling that. Because that image <laughs> was burned right. in my brain. But... Until I brought it up, it wasn't part of your everyday knowledge. Like, you didn't think about I, it every day. I try not to think about things like I that. I try not to think about it. He has to force himself not to think about it. I do think about it. I have to consciously Jeez. try not to think about Chachi it. Chachi is an outlier, all right? Most of the time, people don't give a fuck if you, no. if you came to work in a wrinkled t-shirt. All right, right. Just right. fucking. Right, right. I, okay, I'll give you that. Get confidence, basically. Yeah, Be nobody, Anyways, that ties cares. right into this. As much as people say they don't. You are judged by strangers immediately by your gender, your race, the way you dress, your voice, your height, your body type. Whether they know you or not, they do judge you. That's the first all, – we're all judged by our physical aspects. That's true. So mm-hmm. as much as they don't give a fuck if your belly hangs out in the shirt, if you – if your belly's so big that it's like dragging on the ground – they're going to judge you a little bit for that. Yeah, and call me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> if it does. No. So – Jesus. So, so these co- so these statements are just contradicting each other. No, this is no, a different. No, no, it's not that. It's saying that all, everybody's judgmental, but on, in the end, nobody remembers you. Yeah, you're, everyone's judgmental, but no one really gives a fuck. Exactly. Okay. Like it's not like you know. But I, but you know, with that being said, sometimes I mean, I guess it does in a way because some people are really superficial. Like they see someone, well, they won't get to know it, that. If person. it's an, ex- it has to be an extreme example. That I guess that's the truth. Because, like, yeah, if you're just, like, a little bit chubby or you're, like, on my 600-pound life, that makes a huge difference Yeah, for people mm-hmm. to judge you for your body type. On the same end of the spectrum, like, if you are an attractive woman, people tend to treat you differently just because you're attractive. That's true. That's, and if you're, like, if you're a small person and you're two foot tall, people yeah. just call me. Ten, ten to call me. <laughs> just, I mean, you automatically are like, oh, my God, that guy's super small. Or if you're, like, eight fucking foot tall, people are like, oh, my God, look at that fucking giant-ass dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's it's just you know hey you know own yourself it's because extreme. everyone's gonna look at you and think what they want to think. You know I actually I actually utilize a little bit of that in in my own favor because a lot of times uh, I I I tend to go outside and I dress a little a little street I guess a little urban in my dress. Yes. But then like once you talk to me and you know you start to realize it's like oh. Maybe you can't judge a book by its cover. I, I try to you. break down those walls. So, like, yeah, so people time. see the urban dress and they assume, like, the urban lifestyle, the urban yeah. nomenclature, yeah, all of that. I've been asked if I was a rapper before. Just by the <laughs> way that you dress? Uh, yeah. And yeah. Then, then, then you pull out some big fucking TNT dynamite. <laughs> and they're, and they're like, like uh, no, I work in the medical industry. Thank you. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. I just like to dress like You're this. like, I'm sorry that I have style. Um, yeah, thanks, Josh. <laughs> I'm sorry my swag is, has made you judge me to be who I'm not. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I get my swag all over your judgment? <laughs> you should say that next time anybody comments on it. That would be awesome. All right, another one. People are not always who you think they are. <laughs> Ever. Ever. Just because you think you know somebody, it doesn't mean you know them, man. When shit hits the fan, people do fucked up shit. Or people are fucking backstabbing assholes. Yeah. 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 Ask any. This tends to happen more with females, I think, than men, because like you, you'll see a lot of females that'll be like, "Oh my God, I trusted Susan so much, and the minute that I told her that I had a whatever, she went and told everybody, and she's such a bitch." And guys, are, I mean, like, like I'll tell, like I can tell, like TNT, like a dark secret, and he'd be like, "So what the fuck did you tell me?" That for? <laughs> and I would know so he, he would forget it eight seconds later, That's and it would so never come true. back up. Yeah, man. It's- it's not that I don't know. Like, is that people taking too much stock in these fucking minute relationships that they have, or is that other people just not giving a shit about you? I, yeah, I think it ties back into people don't care to, about you as much as you care about them. Maybe. Yeah, or does it tie back into possibly stop caring, stop, caring, stop loving everyone, stop caring as much. 
And look, I actually like Jonas. Like he's 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 a pretty cool guy. I give oh, him, I give so him nice. shit, but he's he's a nice guy. He has a little a little salt issue, obviously. Hey, I'm trying to work. I'm time. trying to work on the salt <laughs> the salt content in his diet. But you know, he's he's, he's an all right guy. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like the the biggest gift I can give to him is that right to be forgotten. If you tell me something secret. I'm not going to tell anybody. I don't like my own business getting out there. Right, so. right. Exactly. But, <clears throat> all right. And then, and to go along with that one, another one is people will not always treat you like you treat them, which kind of ties back into a lot of those they other things. They don't, though. Yeah. What? They don't. No. Because, like, well, I mean, I like I try to treat everybody with respect in the way I would like to be treated. But, like, you know, the golden rule, treat everybody as you like to be treated. But then, like, people are fucking dicks. <laughs> I mean, that's just basically the bottom line of it, right? <laughs> I don't. I don't know if. I don't know if everybody wants the same thing as well. That's true. What what I how I would want to be treated isn't yeah. that. What if you TNT like to be treated like garbage? Yeah. So you treat everybody like garbage because that's how you want to be treated. Call me. <laughs> <laughs> so you know. Okay. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> this this one hits this this one hits real hard for some people. Oh. Ooh. Sometimes your best just isn't enough. <laughs> you guys suck. You know, sometimes no matter how hard, so, <laughs> sometimes no matter how hard you fucking try, you're just not good enough. Is that like is this a political thing? Or no, you oh, to our- get back down. I mean, like as much as I want to be an NBA player, uh, I don't true. have the height or the skill to make it happen. I mean, you could get the skill. I don't have the height. How old are you? You're, you're I'm like, in my early twenties. Okay, you're about thirty. So <laughs> you're in your thirties. So yeah, you could you could still get into the NFL, NFL NBA. I you said could, NBA. You could do that. There's too. only twelve guys per team, man. Dude, I mean, I got a good chance. How long is ten thousand hours? How many days is that? Well, let's figure. If I start tomorrow, <laughs> twenty four hours a day for ten thousand days straight, you I practice. I'll be, I'll be so old. You could be I mean, LeBron. I, I would is be. it A squad and a B squad? You know, there's probably even a C squad. So I mean, there's the D league for the NBA. That's you know, I kind of feel bad that the minor leagues of the NBA is called the D league. Why is it called the league? <laughs> not not for not it's for developmental. Yeah. But like, if you think of like grades, they're like grade D players, like no. lower than college. They're it's just not, like, well, you went to college, you couldn't make it in the pros. Let's throw you in the D league. Hey, well, ninety percent of us are sitting in the F league. Yeah, right. I'm in the fucking <laughs> double F league. <laughs> right. All right, the cupcake version of this. The cupcake version? For people who can't take the truth that they're not just good enough. Okay, yeah. You can't always be the best, but you can always do your best. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fucking shoot, man. <laughs> Don't you ever say anything like that to our viewers again. <laughs> it's not, this is, we aren't that type of show, Jonas. <laughs> yeah, we're here to demoralize. Uh, here's the next one. Some people will not like you no matter how much you like them or want them to be your friend. Yeah, that's true. So, like, no matter how, and but like, but I guess the turn of that is, if you like someone and want them to be your friend and they don't care or don't fucking want to reciprocate, why do you give a fuck? Why do you want, like, why do you want them to be your friend so bad that you're trying to get them to be? Your I don't friend? know. I think it's pretty natural that we all want to be liked. That's true, I guess. But there are some. I tend to like most people, but there are some people that are just so annoying and they just don't get it and they're socially inept and I'm just like, they're just hard to like. Yeah. Chat, do you know any people that are hard to like besides Jonas and TNT? Um, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> he's like half he's the like, people, oh, fuck yeah. Half the people in your Xbox Live parties are <laughs> fucking fit that description. <laughs> All the fucking toxic Overwatch Should players I encounter. Remember the fucking state that I live in. So, like, pretty much 90% of the people down here. Oh, you do oh. live in Florida. Chach, okay, we talk a lot about Florida on the podcast. Yeah. Chach lives in Florida. He experiences it every single day. Chach, is there, like, lava in the streets? Or there's, like, constant just fucking raining of frogs and acid? No, there's just... That, that's what I I hear. swear there's something off with these people. Like, I used to think, like... These people. Yeah. Chach, you're one of them now. Yeah, no. you, you know, Chachi, no. you've been there for enough years that you become one. No. You're basically, you're basically no. in the water, bro. No, you're, I don't talk Korean. like them. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, I, am, I am so not. That was the most racist thing I've How ever heard. That of that I don't talk like these people. I'm the, ra- I'm the one that calls racism. Look, just, 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 just regionalism. 
yeah. regionally. Tr- Trotch is from the same area of Ohio that we are from, so we do have it's it's difficult. And we used to think show. where we were from was fucked up. No, 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 no. no. There's a whole state like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Florida. It basically you, is like you one think big Ohio's ass crazy? Go live in Florida for two years. It basically is a big ass tribula. <laughs> number whatever number. You will be betrayed in your life, probably by someone you never expected to betray you. A2 Brute? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever been betrayed, betrayed. I'm trying to think if I've ever been betrayed, betrayed. Ah! Oh. Like, uh, you ever had a girl cheat on you? Maybe. What the fuck? Yeah, okay. I well, don't know for sure, but possibly. Oh, oh okay, I see. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, yeah. that's betrayal, but that's like a love betrayal. That's not like a, like, friendship. Yeah, so the bitch never told me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I ever have either. Probably. Like, has say, anyone ever, like... Here on the side of caution and say, yeah, that nobody cares. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I mean, but, you know, it does happen. I mean, people, people who you think are your friends end up not being your friends, you know? It happens. Well, All yeah. right. Yeah. I like this one a lot. This fits all of us pretty well. Yeah, it's well. nice and depressing so far. So yeah, I know. Let's, let's well, keep dude, it going. Were hard pills to swallow, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't life's happy pills. It wasn't like, you get a cake on your birthday. Like, fuck, dude, you don't. Uh, That's right. another one. You don't always get a cake on your birthday. <laughs> your birthday isn't special. No one gives a fuck. That isn't one of these, but that's true. Especially as you get older. Once mom and grandma stop giving you fucking puppies and rainbows and kittens for your birthday... <laughs> And you get I never old. got any of that shit. I've never got any of that stuff. Yeah. All right. I like this one. All right. Let's see. You do not get to decide whether you are an asshole or not. Mm. If you're an asshole, is is totally 100% decided on everyone else. That is so true. It is. That is so true. <laughs> this, this always reminds me, like, I use this shit all the time when I'm talking to people. I'm like, Eminem put it the best when he said, "You are whatever you whatever they say you are." Right, absolutely. I am whatever you say I am. So if I'm an asshole, guess what? To you, I'm an asshole, and to some other people, I'm going to be an asshole. Well, right. Well, just I mean that we're, it's so true because that's how like you can meet people who are like, "Oh my god, you don't want to talk to Susan. She's such a bitch." And then you hang out with Susan. You're like, "Susan is fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Susan's <laughs> cool, man. I don't mind Susan." Right. Yeah. Well, because it's a uh, you know I mean that's like I mean some people meet you and they'll tell they'll tell people that they know that you're a creep and no one else in your life thinks that you're a creep. <laughs> so, you are pretty creepy. I mean, yeah, some people are creepy. Yeah. Right. You not, know, not it's just. Like, you it's um well i mean you can you can even think you're an asshole but if p- other people don't think you're being an asshole you're not you're just not nice <laughs> i don't know yeah whatever whatever people say you are is what you are you can always like uh reboot your image of course you can i mean if that. you relocate like if you're tired of everyone thinks you're a fucking piece of shit move somewhere else and be nice That's... people you meet won't think you're a piece of shit unless you're truly a piece of shit yeah or just stop hanging out with people who don't appreciate your your style intric- of humor, your intricacies, your your personality type. Yeah, that's true. All right, this one is very depressing. You ready for this one, Chat? Sure. Every single relationship you have, friendship or other, family, etc., is going to end with one of you dying or one of you <laughs> leaving. Wow. <laughs> And the lesson is never try. The lesson is don't love anyone. See how these all come full circle? <laughs> Trying to be subliminally teaching people not to care about us. Dude, <laughs> most of these hard pills to swallow I've fucking had as a part of my daily regime, like on a daily basis. Like yeah. I wake up in the morning, brush my teeth, take a couple of these pills, and I'm off on my way. <laughs> They're like, well, now let's take the not love anybody pill. Yeah, Everyone yeah. I know is going to die pill. Like, my doctor prescribed these months ago. Oh, shit. So, yeah, that's kind of fucked up to think about it like that. Like, wow, that's it's so true, though. It really is. Everyone you know, either, like, they're just going to leave and you'll never talk to them again, yep. or they're going to die. Or you'll die. And there's a pretty good chance you're going to die alone. Is that on the list? Uh, No, but that's very true. Put that, <laughs> put In that the very shit end, the you usually will end up alone. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's true. There is always someone better than you at something. 
No matter how good you think you are, you're usually never the best. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, there's always a best at something, but eventually someone's going to be better than you. Yeah. So even like Tiger Woods, who was the best in the world, like by far at golf forever, now he can't even barely make the cut half the time. Yeah, so I mean, I think that was because he got done having side pieces. Though. <laughs> Once he stopped cheating on his wife, the power, his golf game went way down. The power of strange vagina was <laughs> really given. The him power up. of fucking Denny's waitresses. <laughs> fucking. Hey. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I know. No, I know there's somebody always better. Like it's kind of like the lottery. If you're like the world's best at something. Because there's, like, billions of people on the planet. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you probably have as good of a shot to be the world's best at something as you do to win the lottery. Yeah, probably less, honestly. Yeah, it's but, true, yeah. yeah. Uh, this one, I mean, this is another hard-hitting one. No one is else is going to change your life for you. If you want to change your life, change your fucking life. Because no one else is going to make it happen but See, you. Now that's, that's, that's borderline motivational. It's like some hard-hitting. Yeah, it's a hard pill to swallow, but like. Fucking D. West off of Sally Jesse Raphael type Sally of. Sally Jesse Raphael. Type those of... red frame glasses. <laughs> yeah. I used to always think of her as a ninja turtle when I was a kid because her name was Raphael. She had red glasses too, funny enough. Yeah. That's where they took it from. It's like the X-Men, but they stole Sally oh, Jesse Raphael's personality. Because there's so many people that just like want to complain and be like. Oh, man, I hate fucking whatever. And then you're like, well, why don't you just do this instead? And they're like, oh, it's so hard to do that. And you're like, but you're not – if you don't do it, your your fucking friends aren't going to, like, do it yeah, for you. Like, yeah. yeah, procrastination takes over a lot. Yeah, I think that's it too. Oh, God, here's another fucking – whoo. Another really fucking is, hard one to swallow. Is it going to be your dick isn't as big as you think it is? Because <laughs> you no. can't take that from me. Dick joke. You can't take that from me. You can't take my dick from me. <clears throat> the best part of your entire life may have already happened. <laughs> life it's all downhill from here, better buddy. With age. It's all downhill. So, yeah, you know, like those guys who peaked in high school? That's a legit thing, man. Like, the best time of your life could have been when you were the star quarterback of the football team and you never have an enjoyable life that like you had back then. Wow. No, that's a little rough. That'd be fucking hard to you, deal with, wouldn't it? You can make your life an enjoyable... Uh... Well, but, like, you may consider that the best time of your life. You know what I mean? Like, you'll never again get to a point where you're like, you know what? This is the best my life's ever been. This is why I don't get caught up in reminiscing. This is why I don't get caught up in, like, thinking about, oh, you know, things used to be cool. And I try to, I try to myself live in the present and look toward the future and, like, what's what's going on? Oh, because what's you can only bring horizon? yourself down by, by living in exactly. the past. Exactly. Yeah, I'm never going to be tw- – I'm never going to be 18 again. Right, right, right. You know? Well, you know, I, there was a phrase I, I had never heard it before. I'd said it – somebody I know was talking about something, and I said it. So I don't know if I created it. I don't think I ever heard it anywhere. But I uh, said uh, you can't live in the past and pretend it's your future. You yeah. don't. Because yeah, that's a good one. I yeah, like, that. like I think I made that up. I do. Like years ago, because yeah. I, I never heard it anywhere. Because it's true. Like if you, if you, all you do is think about every how your life used to be, and think that that's what it's going to be going forward. It's not. You got to take today and make it your life moving forward. Chachi, are you are you like having a revelation over there? <laughs> no, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> just no, <laughs> just taking it all in. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. You know, when I was the star quarterback of the high school football team. That never team, happened. I did. <laughs> I, was a, I could throw a football quarter mile like Uncle Rico. <laughs> right over those mountains <laughs> over <could>. there. <laughs> um, all right. <clears throat> Doing everything right doesn't guarantee you will be successful. Sometimes you can do everything that you, in quotes, need to do, and you still end up fucking average that one was curated especially for you me yeah i know right <laughs> i've tried to do everything right and i ended up in the shit house. i don't know i'm just saying that i'm trying to relate to other everybody else i mean like even when we're trying to like set up shit on the xbox and like you're like i don't know why this program isn't working i'm doing everything right and i'll be like just because we did everything that we thought was right doesn't mean that it's gonna work no, that's very true outside man. of our wheelhouse Neither one of us are like tech mogul millionaires. I am a tech. I'm, a, I'm a, <laughs> not a mogul, but I'm very tech appropriate. Maybe like a trek. A trekkie? Yeah. I'm not that. Yeah, well, you're closer to that than you are a tech. You're a liar. I have a tech degree. Do you? Yeah, bro. I went to Tell school. Tell the for people tech. at home about your tech degree. 
<laughs> I went to school for computer fucking networking and shit. But I know how to fucking do shit, man. I know. I got some business acumen. Okay. I got some technology acumen. Yeah, bro. I, when I say that shit, it ain't just pulling it out my – I ain't shooting my knowledge out my anus. I got some, <laughs> I got some education behind that. Well, why don't you go make us some millions of dollars? Because I don't want to. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want to live in average means, you know? I don't want to – I mean, and we make millions from the podcast. But yeah, like, thank you for all your donations, by the way. Yeah, millions of dollars. Dollars. Okay. <laughs> Literally nothing. Sometimes you will be the villain in someone's life no matter if you yeah. want to or not. Yeah, that's so true. It really is. I heard somebody say the other day, like, uh, you remember that kid that used to bully you in school? It was They were saying, like, to you, he was your antagonist, but to him, you might have been his antagonist. Or there might have been other people antagonizing him to even, like, act the way he was acting. It was like everybody's the hero of their own story. Right, right. Yeah, every your your life, you're the hero. You know what I mean? Yeah, but there's going to be a villain. You know, even even some fucking asshole cuts you off in their car, mm. and and then it, it causes you to get in a shitty mood, that you get in a fight with somebody. Not like a physical fight, but like, you know, it like everything can the, – the ultimate catalyst of that was that asshole cutting you off that shifted your mood set mindset or whatever or somebody fucking cuts in front of you in line somebody steals the last fucking cantaloupe when you need to bring it home you go home and your wife kicks you out the house <laughs> wow all right that sounded like or, a personal uh, story like a, like the christmas <laughs> the christmas episode we we talked about there was a guy a lady who sent her husband to go get beer at the store and the store was closed on christmas eve and he came home and didn't have beer and she stabbed him with a ceramic squirrel <laughs> she wasn't right in her mind. <laughs> right. Like, what if what if he grabbed the last 40 of O.E. and he came home and and she fucking stabbed him because cause TNT Dynamite grabbed the last 40 and Jonas comes home without a 40 and his fucking crazy raging fucking girlfriend at the uh, time breaks a squirrel and stabs him in the neck, kills him because you walked in front of me. That's this this butterfly effect. We're talking about <laughs> her being her in her mind. She was like, this guy didn't get what I want. He's my antagonist. I'm in the right to stab him. Right. Exactly. My, mind you, that's crazy. Right, but that's how she feels. <laughs> that's how she feels. All right. <clears throat> One last one, and then we'll take a break. Some people are so broken or toxic, the best thing for you to do is cut them out of your life because they cannot be helped. <laughs> Everybody wants to cure somebody's problems. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. <laughs> We've all done it before, I'm sure. Kept somebody around in our life longer than we should have, even though we know we should have cut or, them out. Or had to cut people out. Yeah. 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 Sometimes you have to, man. Yeah. Honestly, I don't, I don't feel like, you know, like... You gotta bring something to the table. Yeah. You know. Well, if you're yeah, if you're if you're basically sucking all my life energy and not restoring any life energy to me, then what the fuck is the point of me hanging out with you? I, you can be cool as fuck, but if you're a drain on my life, like what do I need you around for? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know? Oh yeah. You ever had? You ever? Had, you know how that goes? I'm so antisocial. You are. He's <laughs> like, this comes back to. It just don't love anyone. <laughs> don't love. It's just like, are are those relationships even worth it? Like, yeah, you're going to die if you alone. People, <laughs> if you keep people in your life who are positive and make you feel good about life and whatever, like not necessarily like even like friends, like, like this isn't their job to make you feel good. But when you interact with them, when you talk to them, when you hang out with them, you walk away with a positive experience nine times out of ten. That's great. But like if you inter even like even people who are in bad relationships in a relationship, it's great. It starts going sour. Like, you start coming home from work and your significant other immediately puts you in a terrible mood because they're fucking a super negative person. Or they pick, or not picking on you, but they, they talk some shit about bullshit. Or, and they're constantly making you feel like shit. Guess what? It's probably better to end that fucking relationship and move on. Find someone who makes you happy. That makes your fucking life. Find happiness in yourself. Right. Don't let other people. That's determine the most happiness. important thing. Sometimes you got to cut off these people so that you can find the happiness inside yourself. You need to be alone. You can't love anybody else unless you can love yourself. That's some motivational shit. I like that. The, uh, contrary to popular belief, even though I'm like totally like I don't really care for social interaction that much. I am a very positive <laughs> individual. I try to think positively, but I got to. You know, I'm not a I'm not an expert at being positive. So you are not. Let me find it in myself, and then I can share it with the world. All right. Well, we are going to take a quick break. 
We're going to come back. We're going to do a couple. We got a few quick hits. And then we're going to let Chachmeyer go and play uh, Are You Truly Urban with the Beardy Five Guys. So we'll be right back with one more segment with Chachmeyer on the Crazy Town Season 2 finale episode. back on the season finale of season two episode with TNT Dynamite, Jonas, and Chachmeyer. We're going to get into a couple quick hits real fast. Uh, first things first, though. TNT, you got yourself a new car, huh? Are we going to tell the story? Should I tell the story? That's the quick hit. Oh, That's shit. A- Yo, yeah. I forgot about this. Yeah, I did not. I did get a new vehicle, yes. Yes. We had an interesting, uh, we had an interesting thing happen. At the Crazy Town Compound. I mean, you were here, but it kind of happened to me. <laughs> it happened to you, but it was interesting because right. it yeah, happened we, at the We compound. had a little bit of an intruder. Okay. I will tell a story, though. So I went to go buy a vehicle. Um, I won't divulge what type of vehicle because I don't really feel like it, it's that important. It's a Nissan Altima. It's a fucking <laughs> Lamborghini. <laughs> Sensible vehicle, you know. Thank you for all the donations. But I went to go buy a vehicle, <laughs> and I went to a, I went to a dealership like any other person would, and uh, I started to buy a vehicle. It was a 2016, and it had a certain amount of miles on it. Well, while I was sitting there in the office and the individuals were running my credit and everything to make sure I could afford it, I was pretty sure I could. Uh, I was searching through my phone, and I found a 2017 with less miles and $4,000 cheaper than the vehicle I was looking at mm-hmm. at the dealership. That sounds like one hell of a fucking deal. It sounded like one hell of a deal, right? Right. So they come into the office and he starts showing me, and I'm I'm just like honestly at that point I'm like I'm really not interested. Well, I would anymore. feel like I got ripped off. Yeah, I was I, I was a little disappointed in the fact that they wanted to sell me this highly it, overpriced vehicle. If you told, if I remember correctly, you told me it was like it was like twenty percent less miles or something, yeah, right? Yeah, like it was so a significant it was a amount. You're newer, twenty percent less miles, and it was like twenty percent cheaper. Yeah, so like I did, I did feel kind of taken, but I mean, honestly, look, if you want to put shit on your store shelves for way more than it's worth, that's fine. But I have the right not From to shop. From paying Moonlighter, we know that. Yeah, I have a right not to shop at your store. So Absolutely. So uh, I get a phone call, and then I go outside, and then I'm like, should I even go back in here and tell these guys I'm not interested? I'm like, fuck that. I'm just going to leave <laughs> because – I don't fucking care. <laughs> and honestly, if I leave your shop, you know, it's, I have well, the that's right. Like, I mean, that's like you went to, like, Walmart. You started, like, putting some, like, fucking ice and chips and whatever, and your buddy calls. He's like, hey, dude, I already picked up all that shit. You leave the cart, yeah, and yeah. you walk out. Yeah. So, so. I, I left. Uh, I came back home, and I had every intention on going to the other dealership the next day. Uh, I did get a few phone calls and a few text messages. Like a few? How many are you talking? I'm talking about like five phone calls and about six text messages. Over from, how long? From the dealership that I had just left. Over 30 minutes to 45 minutes. <laughs> okay, so... Ridiculous. So within, so within an hour of you leaving the dealership, yeah. this guy tried to blow up your phone five times <laughs> yeah. with, with phone calls yeah. and six text messages. Yeah, all Me. like, where'd you go? Me well, I mean, a... it sounds like you were about to make a sale, and this dude was about to make bank, and all of a sudden yeah, you just did. vanished, like poof. Right, <laughs> right. But okay, okay. I I see where you're coming from, Chach. But yeah. if you were, you know, yes, woman, you do have the right to, to just leave, but without telling somebody that you're not interested that when you were completely Chachi, interested. Chachi, now Chachi. you're just you're setting yourself <laughs> up for that that phone blow. Okay, oh. The, 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 right, right. Okay, and then I get and I get where you're coming from on that, Chach. But here, here's where here's my thought on that process. If if somebody, if I was a salesman and somebody left, I would try to call them. They did once. Mm. I would then set, maybe send them a text message just saying like, "Hey, where'd you go?" And then maybe like two hours later, try to call them one more time. Yeah, but or if, maybe if, the if next that, day. at that point, like, like, I got, like, I think I told you this that day. What if you got a? What if that phone call was your wife's in a car accident? Come to the hospital. It could. You don't have time to go into the fucking dealership and tell them that you're yeah. gonna dip and go to the fucking hospital. Yeah. And if this is blowing your fucking phone up while you're at the hospital with your wife, 
fuck him. You know what I mean? <laughs> I would be so pissed off. Hon- honestly, honestly, ju- trust me, Chach. The story gets worse. Oh, I'm okay, not, sorry, I'm Josh, not Josh, mad Josh. about the calls. I'm not mad about the text message. But I'm they just kind of putting a frame of reference yeah. together. At for the, the point listeners. where they got to the point where I would have been like, this is excessive. They stopped with the calls. Because, like I said, five, five or six text messages, five or six calls. I'm like, all right, it's starting to get excessive. And then they stopped. Right. But, you know, my, my, my mindset, like I said, though, is like, what if you had an emergency? Well, you just got to make that sale. I understand. But dude, what's the – I mean what, – What's the – where's the, the couth? The, 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 the point is that he was right because I didn't have an emergency. Right, right, right. right <laughs> like, right. we can deal in hypotheticals, yeah, but yeah, the yeah. truth of the I matter is I just fucking right. left. Well, there, okay, <laughs> listeners, there is more to this story. So there go ahead more. and continue. So I come, I come back home and uh, – I'm, I'm just like in in my room searching online to see if I can find anything better, an even better deal, trying to look at other vehicles as well. And there's a knock at the crazy town compound door. So I dun, meet, dun, I, dun. I immediately alt tab and I'm looking at our, our camera system, our camera security system. <laughs> And, and they have a they have a, a a picture up in front of the camera. Yeah, so it like it's it does a retinal scan of the guy, and it does like you know fingerprints because we're high tech in this <laughs> household, and it's the same, <laughs> it's the same guy from the car dealership. The fucking salesman came to the crazy town compound he, after he ignored his texts and calls. He came into our gated Talabasas community, <laughs> and he knocked on our door. And I got up, I went to answer the door. And the some bitch had the paper in his hand saying, "Hey, what happened to you? Well, look, we got a good deal for you on this vehicle. <sighs> How would you react, Chach? What would you do at this point? What would you? Do? I don't know. I think I would have like at least told the person that I wasn't. He's putting it back on you, said. Chach. Fire saying it's your fault, Chach. Chach, if you go you're to the talking grocery about store, that dude's income. Okay, he's Chach. about to make a sale that is. Chach. Have, you, have you ever sold cars? I love the devil's advocate. Chach yeah, is bringing to this episode. Have you ever Chach. sold cars? Chach, get to your point. Have, I'm gonna let you get to your you point. Ever, you know I've never sold. Okay. A, you know I've never sold uh, a car. Uh, uh, well, let me <laughs> let me just rephrase it. Have you ever worked at a well, solely no, commission based Chach. job? Chach, you you know yes, I have. Okay, so you know how important you that do? sale is. I sold shoes, Chach. Okay. So obviously it, that dude was that desperate to make that sale because maybe he Th- does that make him right for coming to my crib? You gave him your address. I'm trying to because he had to. He didn't like say, "Hey, buddy, here's my." Address. I had to in order for him to run my credit. Exactly. My point. That's how interested you were in buying that car. Is you gave him all that information. And then you just... if, I walk into a Mc... if I walk into a McDonald's and I say, I'll have a number one, and then I'm like, you know what, never mind. I'm going to go to Taco Bell. And then I go home. They don't come to my door with a Big Mac and a, and a Big Mac in a sack like, hey, I thought you want this Big Mac. You don't want this Big Mac now? I said you're talking about a $2 sale to somebody who doesn't give a shit compared to like a couple thousand dollar sale to somebody who that's his income. Yeah, but you know what? In Texas, they have a stand your ground law. So if somebody's on <laughs> your property, they have it in Florida too. Yeah, you can kill them if Chach, you feel threatened. I can't believe you're advocating for this guy. He's not that desperate. Obviously, he is. There's no but way. he followed you to your fucking house. He. <laughs> Chach, would you be mad if some guy came to your house and tried to solicit a vehicle to you that I was interested in? At friends, but I and then all of a sudden, I poof, disappeared. If I was interested in it, I would have stayed in the fucking dealership, Chachi. You were interested in the plant. Do you let him have all your and, and run the plant? And you know what? And you know what? My my interest in whatever the fuck I want my interest to be in are as fleeting as that of a teenage girl, Chachi. I can decide to <laughs> like unicorns this. one day, and then the next day I can fucking like Maroon I, 5. I, I, I can do whatever the hell I want to do. This guy doesn't know this. This guy doesn't know you. You are dollar signs to him. <laughs> and yeah. see, but that's I guess that's that's, the the, problem. that's my whole point I'm right there human. is he he was so enthralled about the money like but back to my prior point granted he just left he didn't want to but like say this say he had a wife and his wife was in a car accident and this dude's coming to your fucking house trying to be like well, you if he had a wife and his wife was in a car accident he wouldn't be in his fucking house well yeah he would have fucking put him on GPS track and found him at the hospital took that shit sure. up there too 
You gave him your address. That's how he found you. Chachi, I didn't have a choice. There's no way for me to get the vehicle. That's like, I give the people at the, the deli my fucking card. That doesn't mean that they can go check my bank account Give the out. people at your deli your address. Well, needless to say. All right. So, yeah, let me, let me nothing, get back to how I handled it. No, nothing. No, yeah. So like, I shot him. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. So he's I shot the guy, obviously. You came to my So he opens the door and he's like, hey, you know, like, hey, I got this deal. I'm like, dude, I can't believe you just came to my house like that. He's like, Yeah, but you were there and then you left. I just wanted to see if you're about to sell. Look, they're gonna give you more and you trade it. And I was like, Nah, I'm good. He's like, Really? I was just like, where are we at on this deal? I'm like, uh, I'm gonna be here and you can leave. You can have a nice day. Totally calm. I didn't pull the piece out. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. I acted like a like a civil person because I didn't want him to think like you know like he was in danger. But you are in danger. <laughs> <laughs> you are in danger. Don't come to my fucking house. It, it it blew my mind a little bit that he made the step to come to the house. I mean, like, okay, I get Chacha's point. It's his money, whatever. But you think if you call someone five times and text them six times and they don't respond, like they're going to be happy that they that you showed up at their fucking think, house, yeah. like their phone. You think died. he was happy that you just magically disappeared? That's part of his job. Exactly. That's out on him part of his job. But what car Coming dealer does house, house visits? Bro? Well, that's no the dealership point. does house the visits. The boss is telling him to go make that fucking sale. You had him here. He was sitting there. You have all of his information. And now you don't know anything. Yeah, that's but that's almost a privacy violation. I would think. Not to mention that our our Talabasta's community, gated community, mind you, uh, with security checks, y- y- there's no solicitation. And we also have – there He's is not soliciting here. a sale. You were interested. He, what the fuck do you call you that? Interested. He came here with the intention of selling me a car. He didn't come here to hang out or ask how I was doing or he check was, up on me. He had a paper in his hand with money for my trade-in and the price of a car. He cut- that was vastly you overpriced. Just randomly, just knock on your door and be like, "Try to sell you a car." You were sitting at his fucking desk. You gave him all your fucking information. Man, we never hear from the guy who worked at the car dealership. Yeah, it's, chach, chach. Did you ever go to anybody's house? No, because I don't care. Did you, I wasn't a salesman. Ever... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I never... I never anyway. You know, I'm really – okay, I'm really glad we got to this because I I sided with TNT. I was like, I can't believe this motherfucker came to the house. Then Chach is pulling the devil's advocate card out on us to come from the other side, from the salesman side. He's blaming me for giving the guy my information. <laughs> you were not had a telling the dude the that you were interested when there was no emergency. Chach, let me ask you a question. Okay, let me ask you a question. Okay, okay, but there wasn't an emergency. So why couldn't you get five me, seconds to be like, dude, I'm not interested, and then leave? Because I'm inconsiderate, Chach. Okay. You, that's why. That's why this whole, this whole chain of events happened. Because you just neglected to tell him no. When you told him yes wow. already. He's not He's not 100% wrong. No, he's not. <laughs> he's wrong, but he's not 100%. You're not wrong, but you're not right, Chach. Right. But see, see no, serious. I think that this. maybe he shouldn't have gone to the lengths that he went to try to make this sale. But he's not 100% in the wrong. Because, like I said, he's not a door-to-door salesman trying to sell you something that you're not interested in. You were interested to the point where you gave this motherfucker information about you. Information. I think he crossed the line coming to the house. Hand out to, like, everyday people. Yeah. Okay. So what about this scenario then? You meet a girl. You, you you make her think you're interested in her. You bring you take her, back. her out on a date. You guys have a nice time. You you go out on a date. You have a nice time. You you swing by the house because you forgot your wallet. So she sees where you live. You take her out. You have a nice time. You stop calling her. You stop replying to her texts. It's out of line for her to show up at your fucking house. Is that out of line, Chach? Because obviously That's you were interested. Different. She knows where you this live. This is not business. Get the fuck out of here, Chach. Same business. thing. That is business. not money. It might be money for her, business. but that yeah, is not the currency is love, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> like wow. You're All talking right. about Look somebody's up. income. That's Josh, are you saying that love has no value? Not dollar amount. Wow. 
<laughs> all right, all right. Let's let's leave this to that. Let's get through a couple quick hits. And wrap this wrap this up. I, that did not go the way I thought. Chach would start the best. Yeah, it's is... all right. He's allowed to have his opinion. And that's what we bring him on for the hot takes. <laughs> so, all right. <clears throat> Seventy five BC, Julius Caesar, Roman emperor, was captured by pirates. They demanded at first twenty talents. I guess that was their currency. As a ransom, because they did not know who he was. They did not realize that he was the Roman emperor. Julius Caesar himself even laughed at this offer and told them that he should off- they asked, should ask for 50 talents instead of 20. Caesar then spent 38 days with the pirates while he waited for the payment to get him released. They said that he joined in all their games and in exercises... And almost acted as if he was their leader instead of their prisoner because he was fucking Roman emperor. Why wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah. It said <clears throat> after he was released, as soon as he got back, he sent Roman ships out to where they were. He captured all the pirates and put them in jail. Mm. <laughs> nice. Also, he then took them. Caesar himself went to the jail, took them all out of the jail, and then crucified them all. Wow. It's my kind of man. Right Point there. to the story. It was said that when he was on the ship for 38 days, he made numerous jokes about how when he got off the ship, he was going to come back and crucify them. Hmm. All. And after they let him go, he came back and crucified every motherfucking one of them. Wow. <laughs> that's that's pretty badass, actually. <laughs> Julius Caesar wasn't no fucking punk, dude. <laughs> Brute fucking, I mean, yeah, he but... got betrayed by his best friend. That's how he got fucking down. That's his downfall. The key is to never, never try. Uh, yeah, that's pretty badass, though. I do have to say it's like, it's, it's kind of fucked up to like crucify somebody, man. They kidnapped you, man. I mean, yeah. Dude, what do you got? What's that called? Stockholm, Stockholm syndrome? syndrome. You already got like yeah. he like you, you don't even know the guy, and you got Stockholm syndrome. Like that's fucked up. He he fucked up his cat prisoner captain. <laughs> like, I mean, bro, I mean, did they hurt him? No, but they still they took thirty eight days of his life from him and made him live on a pirate ship. Yeah, I probably crucify a motherfucker for that. Right, dude. They just took you couldn't play Xbox for thirty eight <laughs> days. <laughs> Wait, why is that the most important thing you think it's to be? I have other values. I'm just being I'm stupid. Di- nah, I, I, yeah, I've definitely wanted to crucify some motherfuckers that have cut me off in traffic before. So, yeah, I, I guess I could see that. Yeah. So, I just thought that was fucked up. I was That's like, look at, look at that. You know what that is? That's a story of goal setting. And if you <laughs> if you set goals, like you can achieve goals? them. Relationship goals? No, just goals in life. What, he said, what kind of goal is this setting? He said, these huh. motherfuckers took me. I'm going to crucify them all. And he convinced them to let him go by giving out a penance. And he was like, guess what? Now I have an army of soldiers. It's like if you stole the big drug dealer and he sent all his capos out to get you. They brought him back. They put you in a room. He walks in the room. He's like, guess what, motherfucker? And he shoots all of them in a room. But he didn't tell him he was going to shoot them. They didn't have guns back then. He said, I'm going to crucify you. And what did he do? He fucking crucified him. Man. Persistence. Like, honestly. Like, Life goals. <laughs> the torture and the ways of putting people to death back in those days were pretty fucked up. They would have wished that he had a gun. Yeah. Yeah. Like, people were like, God, why couldn't Caesar just have a gun and shoot us? I would definitely rather be shot than crucified. Or fucking drawn and quartered. I'd rather be shot than drawn and quartered. Isn't dude. that the one where they, like, the rip stake. you in half? They, yeah, they hook, a, uh, they hook all your limbs to horses. Ah! And then they have the ah! horses running. So, like, it takes a long time because the, the pull, and they, ah! it pulls off. And the way and the way physics works, it pulls. <laughs> All right, man. We don't have to talk it about people one get it off at a time. You people, know what I mean? Yeah, I think I think the worst way is probably like burn alive would be bad too. Burn like the, the hot pole that they put up your ass. <laughs> they put. I'm just making this up. This is, I'm pretty sure <laughs> it sounds like thing. a dream. You have. <laughs> no, they like take a pole or like a spear and they like make it red hot and then they like just like spit you with it. Oh God, that would suck. Yeah. Being burnt at the stake would be terrible. Yeah. Like yeah. not only are you getting burnt alive, there's an audience. Yeah. Crucifixion would be bad too because it takes There's, like weeks. Yeah, you're up there for a while. God, ugh. You die of like infection. Oh, <laughs> God. Ugh. Chach, okay. Chach, you, you, how, how do you want to die? Yeah, how, well, how would you rather <laughs> die? Chach, crucifixion, <laughs> being burned at the stake, or fucking hot poker up that Not ass. in any of those ways. God, sure? ugh. God, like, why can't, why couldn't, it just, it makes getting shot in the face seem like a fucking, a nice way to go. Yeah, 
Well, honestly. And that's true. It's relatively it's humane. It's quick, at least. All right. <clears throat> uh, we got two more here. All right. Adam Bernier was, at the age of 19, he was four foot six inches tall. So he was technically a dwarf. And he couldn't, because he tried to join the army to get into World War I for Austria. He's an Austrian man. He couldn't join the army because he was too small. And then over the next 10 years, he grew to 7 foot 10 inches tall. So at 19 years old, he was 4 foot 6. At 29 years old, he was almost 8 foot tall. And he couldn't play a lick of ball. He couldn't play ball. He was the only man ever to be classified as a dwarf and a giant in his lifetime. (laughs) That's a hell of a growth spurt. You think he, he well that long? And usually, you stop growing by the time you're 18. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. He definitely had some like knee issues then. Definitely. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. But could you imagine? Like, okay, I mean, we're all in our early 20s. So, could you imagine <laughs> over the next decade we grow four foot? Yeah, that would suck. I mean, that'd be kind of cool, actually. <laughs> be like nine foot tall. Yeah, I always wanted to be taller. I mean, you're not a small, a short guy anyway. Like six, six three. Yeah, so I mean, like, I mean, you're above average height. Yeah, but I'm like, I'm like a point guard on the basketball court. I know it's so fucked up, isn't it? (laughs) Think about like you walking around with everyday people. You're way taller than most people. Mm -hmm. But if you were gonna go play basketball, you'd be a short. I'm the shortest (laughs) guy. Yeah, right. Like I'm almost six foot. I'm just about six foot tall, and I'm fairly. I'm about as tall or taller than a lot of people. Yeah, but if I was gonna go like play play uh, basketball or even be like a professional wrestler. Those guys are like six, 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 seven, six, eight, and you like you just look like a that's, fucking little man. That's like even the short. That's because six guys, foot tall isn't tall anymore. <clears throat> you're just six foot. You're not six foot tall. <laughs> you're taking the tall out. Yeah. All right, all right. I'll, I'll take that. Too. What, what's I'll what's take what's that. what's tall are you, Chuck? Well, I'm, I'm just saying. Look at it. Like like take go go back like mm, twenty years and look at the the size of basketball players oh. compared to today. Yeah, look at the size of not wrong. look at the size of football game. players compared to today. It's all them GMOs in the. Food. I mean, it's just. Yeah. It, is that I what mean, it is? that's I genetically modified organisms. Absolutely, that's the way it's, it's always been. Though, like people are just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Over. I wonder what the biggest man in the Civil War looked. Like. He was probably like five foot three. He's like he. He's like, he was like, yeah, he was like 5'6", weighed like 180 pounds. And was like, look at that giant <laughs> motherfucker rolling through. Back then, I think they would just take like the biggest guys that they found. Like if they ever did come across like a 6'6 six six person or a 6'0. You know, uh, they just like keep them stupid and use them as a bodyguard. Yeah, I think. probably brute force sort of yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah, or they put him in a freak show because he's tall. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, too. we talked about all those freaks, man, on that episode. All right, last, last quick hit. Of the season, before we do the last, are you urban of the season <laughs> and wrap up the fucking season? A 32 year old Wisconsin man turned himself in for a sex crime. But the police were a little baffled because the only thing wrong with it was that he had it burns on his foot. Oh my God. What was he fucking hmm. doing? What was he fucking? He explained to the the cops that he bought himself a camera and he was trying to take upskirt photos of young ladies in dresses and the camera exploded <laughs> on his foot. That's karma. So he, <laughs> he, he they denied to charge him because he never actually took any pictures. Okay. He, he went to try and the camera exploded and it burned his foot. And he went and talked to his priest, and the priest told him he should turn himself in. Oh, my God, dude. I was going to say, you can't be culpable if you didn't do anything. He had intent, though. If you take a knife and hold it to your neck, but I don't kill you, is there not anything wrong with that? Yeah, I guess, Mark. I mean, you joke around, you're going to sit on the couch and be like, can I stab you with this knife, Jonas? <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, I think about... Just let me stab you with this knife, Jonas. <laughs> I mean, we've all had, like, daydreams about doing bad things to other people i'm sure i don't want to like put anybody else in like that psychopath category but you're not culpable for having those thoughts it's what yeah yeah the thoughts are are not what's illegal it's are you culpable for putting the axe in your car are you culpable for closing the hood when do you become 
culpable. The minute for... the minute you intimidate or cause any sort of issue to another person, all right? Well, this because dude just like, put yeah, on like, a shoe and a shoe explodes. Because like I could have all intent to, yeah, like you said, take an axe and hit somebody with it. But if I put it in the car, drive to their house, go to their door, I'm holding the axe, and then they'll and. The minute I say I'm going to hit you with this axe or take a swing, then I'm culpable. If they go, what are you doing with that axe? And I go, oh, I just brought it with me. All right, I was just checking. So I'm okay if I stand outside of your door and just think about it. <laughs> yes. All right. As but long once as- you <laughs> kick it open, then you're culpable. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Once you incite terroristic fear in me. <laughs> so, but no, I, like, talk about fucking karma, though, right? Like, yeah. he's like, oh, I'm going to take upskirt pics of girls, and the camera explodes on your foot before you even get one taken. <laughs> You believe in karma? Me? You oh, karma boy? I, I do. You do. I believe in karma, yeah. All right. I, I mean, to... I don't think – I like to try to believe in it, but I don't think it works. Because <laughs> I've done a lot of really good things for people in my life and not done very many bad things to people, and I've had a lot of bad shit happen to me. Chach, what about you? How, how do you feel about karma? You, you buy into that bullshit? I mean, do you buy um, into it? No. Because I'm – Kind of, no. I'm kind of there with Jonas. Like, you, put like, good you know, world, you I've, good I've done a lot of good stuff and had a lot of shit happen. So, how do you believe? So TNT, you don't believe that if you put out good energy into the he world, doesn't put out good energy. energy. He doesn't need to believe uh, in it. <laughs> wow, wow. look what you did to that car salesman, TNT. You wow. fucking screwed up. Wow. No, I, I, you know, we all, we all have a mixture of the energy. No, but no, but no man is a monolith of positivity, and I know that I'm far from it. But okay, let me ask you this: then. So, I don't want to get into this deep, uh, delete, deep fizzlots. You know, I will too. <laughs> so karma is more like what you do comes back to you. Yeah. So if you have bad thoughts, does that essentially in- affect the amount of good energy you're putting out to others? I think if you have bad thoughts, and like a lot of people, even with like uh, XXX Tatashian. They were talking about how some of the music that he would talk about, he was, like, advocating, like, suicide and, like, saying in the songs, like, he wishes he could die in certain songs. And, like, and it was, what brought it, it it was kind of like a part of his and, – and when something negative happens to him, they're like, well, it only makes sense because he was talking about it all the time. Like, come on. Like, I, I think, think that's that. more yeah, – yeah, and that's where I'm getting. Well, yeah, I, think I it's talk more like a million dollars all the time. That shit ain't still yeah, happening to me. exactly. So I feel like if you just put positivity out there – you're just likely to be more happy because positivity just makes you feel good. So that's true. I just try to go with that. I I know I like that, that, but to think that if I just put a hundred percent positivity out there in my mind and think that I'm going to get all positive back, that's crazy. That's true. The world is going to give you what the world is going to fucking give you. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, we we looked in those hard pills to swallow. No matter how hard you try, yeah, yeah. Shit, shit happens to you, man. Ain't that the fucking truth? Yep, yep. So. All right, well, that wraps up the segments with Chach Meyer. Chach, yeah. so oh, yeah. glad to it's, have you back, It's man. always fun. You're <laughs> wrong, Chach, so I hope you like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, so we will uh, we'll see about – we're going to try to figure out all this stuff with the live. Maybe we can have you call into the live show sometime. i got to figure out how all that is, but we'll, uh, we'll probably bring you in on some gaming videos that on the Xbox good. one day. Sounds- Get you all up in there. So, but if so, if we don't see Josh Meyer on the podcast moving forward because we can't figure out how to get somebody in the podcast with us, you'll probably be able to see him on gaming videos. So, all right, Josh. Well, is there anything you want to say to end this season for all the fans? No, it's there? it's been a blast. If even if I'm not here, I'm listening. Right. So it's a. Uh... Oh, uh, uh, see, everyone should be what Chacha does. Yeah, Even Chacha. If you're not here, you're listening. And thank you for all those donations, Chacha. <laughs> now, Chacha, I know you got it. So, <laughs> yeah, but I got a new right. job at selling cars. Well, except for this wrap- one dude that just like didn't didn't just disappeared one day. <laughs> yeah, we didn't. We failed to mention <laughs> Chacha Meyer was the salesman. That's why he felt so passionately about it. <laughs> we we're like, you son of a bitch, get off my doorstep. It's the only thing that kept him from getting shot. <laughs> yeah, it was that you knew him personally. <laughs> Oh, shit. Well, all right. We will be right back to do a truly Are You Urban version of Are You Urban on the season two finale of the Crazy Town podcast. Old banana, you disgust me. Old banana, you're not right. Old banana, you are mushy because you're no longer right. Old banana, turn spotted. Old banana, turn brown. Old banana, you are worthless. It's time to throw you out. Or make banana bread. All right, and we are back on the season finale of season two of the Crazy Town podcast. 
Right now joining us, special guests, Sid and Jess, host of the Beardy Five podcast. Welcome, guys. What's cracking? What's going on? Good to be back. Definitely, definitely. You were on our last season finale, so I figured I'd have you back again. This may be our last Are You Urban that we ever play. Maybe. Oh, my and, God. And you guys were in the first one, so I figured we'd come full circle. Let's wow. do it. All right. All right. So you guys took a hiatus from the Beardy Five for a little bit, but now you're back as, a, as of a few weeks ago. Um, we both, we both have already. full beards again. All right, yeah. there you go. <laughs> yeah, you we, 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 went, uh, we, we went, Jonas, we went through a funny time. Jess even had a goatee for a while. I had a goatee. It, he was oh, experimenting. Wow. It was a tough time. Wow, well, you went from the from the yearty to a goatee. Yeah. It, <laughs> oh, it, my God. It was, was a rough period a, in my life. Uh, there was never uh, a soul patch where this was there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just asking. Just a soul patch, that's it? I. I don't think I could rock that myself. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, the goatee never hurt nobody, but it was just no. a rough period in my life. Uh, I went to rehab, and now I have the full beard again. You no, found your way, and now you're back on the beard life. I got yeah. you. Okay. Hormone <laughs> transplant therapy. <laughs> I understand. I've been but there. But we're back. There. We're better than ever. And, sure. you know. We're drinking Mick Ultis now, but you know that's yeah, it's less carbs. Yeah, we we switched to the low carb. So basically, all we did was we took off four months and switched to the low carb beer and came back. Yeah, okay, fair <laughs> enough. Do you want to go and tell everybody out there again where they can find your podcast or follow you on Twitter or anything like that? Well, you can follow us uh, right now. We're mainly on Instagram is where we're mo- the most active uh, at the Beardy Five Pod. We're also on Twitter at the Beardy Five. Um, okay, and. and then, uh, Find us right here on these show notes. Wait up. Yeah. yeah. So what did you do in the meantime? You were doing a podcast called New Gains. It was just a bodybuilding kind of diet, you know, better get it, yourself it, fit sort of thing. Yeah, it, it was just a pretty – it was pretty much just a, a, a discussion every week about, you know, our diet and what we were doing to get in better shape. It was not nearly as fun as getting together every Saturday or Friday night or whatever and drinking beer. Pounding and some beer. Pounding beer and talking shit. So we went back to the pound of beer. Yeah. Right. Do you still have the same five principles of the Beardy Five? Well, I'll tell you, what what the Beardy Five stands for now is just just bullshit. Bum load of bullshit. bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit, <laughs> bullshit, bullshit, yeah, bullshit, yeah, the, bullshit the, the and bullshit. The five is just, the five is just there. Uh but people like the name. Like we had people texting us and, and actually like like friends wanted to come back on and shit. People like the name, so when we came back, we wanted to came come back with the same name and the same bullshit, but you know, less of a structure. Just just some guys hanging out pounding beers. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Well, because it originated a little bit of history. You guys used to do top five lists every right. yeah. way back in the day. That's where the original five came from, was the top five movie countdowns. There you go. And then it just it just evolved into fucking drinking beer with your buddies and fucking talking to it, it, it evolved into what it is today, that's right, Jonas. Yeah. And and I <laughs> think you awesome. I think good your one. listeners would like it because you and TNT you, you seem like good shit talkers. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we can talk shit. That's for sure. Yeah, everybody, I I fully ver or fully uh, what's the uh, endorse what's the word when you endorse? Yes, I fully endorse the Beardy Five podcast. You need to check it out. It's awesome. It's one of my favorites. So, all right, we're gonna get into Are You Urban? Maybe the final Are You Urban ever? But we got a twist today. Usually TNT, he's the he's the champion of Are You Urban? He's he's won six out of seven games he's played. Today, Jonas is going to play no, speak, Are You Urban speak on the rest of, guys. Speak on the rest of my accolades, please. The two-time, the two-time, two-time champion. Two-time. Two-time, <laughs> two-time, two-time champion. So basically, how Are You Urban works, it's an Urban Dictionary-based game. I don't know where the hell TNT pulled these words from. Hopefully, Urban Dictionary. Basically, he gives us a word. We have to guess what it means. And uh, how it works is the first person, if they get it right, they get a point. If they get it wrong, it moves on to the next contestant, and then they get two points, and on to the third for three, and so on. Um, I do have a little bonus note for everybody here. There is a we're after this is the last episode of our season. I'm going to put out a couple best of episodes and Are You Urban anthology. There will be a bonus Are You Urban. With these same guys, the Beardy Five podcast that we had an awful time trying to record. Wow. So, oh, the lost, the lost the, tapes. The, the, the lost, lost episode. <laughs> I can't guarantee what it's going to sound like. I haven't edited it yet, but it will be in the Are You oh, Urban shit. anthologies that I'm releasing in the bonus episodes All in right. the coming weeks. If, if right. there is a movie 
that is ever to be made about the guy that's still on Jurassic Park that's that's survived all these years, that's this podcast. Chris Pratt. Oh, <laughs> we're the Chris Pratt's of podcast. Yeah, yeah. Chris Pratt podcast. <laughs> the rap, the Raptor Whisper. No, he's the T Rex Whisper. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. No. T Rex and Raptor. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. You guys ready? All right. Who's uh? How are we gonna figure out who goes first? Jess goes I'm first. I'm gonna give a little bit. Of, I'm gonna give a little bit of an introduction. This is TNT Dynamite. This is my Urban Dictionary. Oh. I, think that I've, I think that I've proved over the uh, the tenure of the show that I am a living Urban Dictionary as it goes. Seeing as though nobody has dethroned me but one Miss Melody Pang. Shout out to her. So my version <laughs> of. Uh, <laughs> My version of Urban Dictionary is Urban Dictionary from across the country. Wow. So, oh. so first off, we got some Urban Dictionary words from New York. I don't know where you guys are from. Where are you guys from, anyway? North Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina. Okay, so, so <laughs> basically, that's basically that's North. That's basically New York. <laughs> so you guys should do well. <laughs> All right. How we how we doing? Who's going first? Who's going second? Who's going third? I got a number. Pick a number one through a hundred. Seventy six. Two. Forty three. The number was seventeen. So we see who goes first. Yeah, boy. See it. Yep. Jonas was second, and third would be Jess. I'll bring it on. Absolutely. Uh, Jonas will keep score on a piece of paper in front of him. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do high tech. I, pre- I mean, the scoreboard is lit up in the crazy town I honestly, compound. I honestly appreciate you keeping score because I got a lot going on here. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I do. I got like a laptop hey, listen, guys, my phone. They only listen to Crazy Town for the production value. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, your word is your word is. Guap. Money. Your word is guap. Money. Paper. Very good. That wow. is the right answer. Is that, is that right? That all is right. the right answer. Ow. All right. He's got one point. All right. One word down. They're not all. They're, How they're, many words are we doing? TZ 10? Uh, we can do more than that. I got <laughs> nine New York. We can go all night. He's got 11. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go until they're done. Okay. We'll go until you, until your words are done. Exactly. So more than 10. It's a little, little breakdown, are you? So doing? you're next. All right. That was pretty good, man. I didn't think he'd know what guap was, but I'm, I, maybe... I would have got it wrong. <laughs> Don't forget. Oh wait, there is the pity point. If we all get it wrong, you get to choose who gets the points. I'm giving it to myself. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Your word, Jonas, is gully. Gully. Uh, the gully is. These are New York words. Just so I, you know. I, These are New I York words. So much New York said I got this shit. <laughs> I don't, you uh, see, that's, you that, that, it helps. Bitch. Sometimes it helps. Man. These are real words that they use in the streets of New York, not like robots, <laughs> like you would pass out to people. A gully. <laughs> it is a place that you go to pick up sluts. A place <laughs> where you go to pick up sluts? <laughs> that's TNT's house. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's play it again. Oh, oh right. gully! Gully is to Wait, be. Oh. Oh. oh yeah, you're you're right. You're right. Yeah, you got to pass it on, man. Oh yeah, so, it's uh Jess's turn. Yeah, Jess, can you pick it up? What is gully? A gully. No, what is gully? <laughs> is <laughs> what is gully? What is Go ahead. What is oh, it? son of a bitch, I know what it is now. Do you? The only thing I can think of is a gully. This is a layup, is, guys. You know, where the water's washed out, but that's not in New York. No, they don't have that in, New y- in, in, in NYC. <laughs> gully. Our New York listeners are, are going to know. I, I'm going to have to pass on this one. I can't think of nothing. You can't okay. think of anything? All right. All right. All right. sit on my I'm going to answer for you. All right. I like to use it's, it in a sense first. You want me to use it in a sentence? Well, I, I, well, I'll use it in a sentence for you. Okay. Oh, wow. oh, so, okay. As, as 50 Cent would say to Tony Yayo, keep it going. Keep it 100. Keep it real with me. That is that. That's correct. Holy that is right. shit, money. Gully is to be overly authentic or genuine to the streets. Oh, that's that's three you. points. He's up four nothing. Come on. Damn. Damn. That's wonderful. 
All right. I'm telling you, these are real words. All right, your number. This is Jess. This is Jess, I believe. Yeah. Okay, Jess's turn. What's that? I'm pretty, you're, you're helping me out. Your number is, or your word is brick. What is brick? This is still New York. This is still New York. We're going to stay in New York for a little bit, and then we're going to move on. Don't worry. Okay, the only thing I can think of with brick is like a big dude, like a brick shit house. Mm, you know what, Jess? I'm sorry, but Don't do it! A... Oh! Oh. <laughs> Come on! I'm sorry. So that goes to Jonas now? Jonas? No, it goes, to, it goes to Sid. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. It goes to Sid. Sid, do you know what brick is? Well, the... They usually use it when they're saying moving bricks, moving drugs, cocaine, to be exact. Uh, while that is correct. Or crack cocaine. I, no, while that is correct, I cannot give it to you. That is not the New York slang uh, for what brick is. Oh, so shit. Should, uh, That's what I was going to say. Shit. It's all right. Jonas. It's all right. I, mm. I, I understand the mistake. A brick would be an ugly woman. <laughs> Well, Jonas, your misogyny has gotten you a... <laughs> oh! <Wow. laughs> All right. Um, Brick is very cold or borderline freezing. Okay. Oh, okay. If I were to use it in a sentence, I would say, I don't care who that bitch is. It's brick as fuck out. I'm going to chill and roll this L. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. All right. Fair enough. Oh, New York. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give that point to the guy who said the cocaine because that was that was actually a, I, a like, terminology. Oh, it, it's man. not I'm like a goose egg out here. <laughs> he was right. It's gonna be hard to catch up. Hey, you but guys, we're doing more in ten words. So we got a <laughs> you guys aren't using your your lifelines. You can't ask for it in a sentence. You can ask for the spelling. Okay, it's your it. turn. Or no, J- Sid. <laughs> man, I'll I'll keep it in order. Don't All you right, know. you tell me who's turning. <laughs> All right, Sid. Okay. Your word is wildin'. Uh, just wildin'. like getting overly mad about something, going crazy, overreacting, just acting stupid. Like it's not that big a deal. And sit in front of me, he's taking all the that, answers. That is man. that is Shit. the right answer. <laughs> I know. See, it if is. I said enough, he had to give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> these are all. Look, I'm using a random number generator. Ain't, ain't you got no urban dictionary from what Texas or something? <laughs> Yeah. I might. You don't know. We're going across the country. <laughs> okay. So you'll never know. Who's next? Me. You. Jonas. Your word is grill. Oh, your your mouth. Like your fucking grill. Yeah, like the that. I'm sorry. Teeth grill. I mean. You know what? That would be right if we were in the South. Oh. 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 But we're in New York. Oh. The grill originated in the South. I'll give you that. And that's a very good answer. You might get the you might get the pity point. Who's next? Uh, Jess. 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 Can you tell me what grill Damn. means? That was it. What? <laughs> that was it. If we that was so, a, that was my answer. A grill. Uh, I'm I'm thinking Jersey Shore here, and you know the the Guidos okay. that said it like us. A grill? Are they talking about a barbecue grill? I don't know why you think that only people from the Jersey Shore would barbecue. <laughs> no, but he caught it. Um, <laughs> they, they, yeah, we, you know, they, they do that everywhere in America. So that I'm afraid that gets. Oh. Mm, sorry. Okay. Man, this is Urban Dictionary. You gotta think. You with didn't your urban, urban Dictionary. Though. I gotta pick these it, are real it, words that they use. I know. <laughs> I came with a certain mindset, and you fucking came with something else. <laughs> what is this? Are you urban? This is Are You From New York? <laughs> this is Are You Urban and From New York? <laughs> All right, Sid, your okay. turn. All of these words are on urban. Interrogate dictionary. somebody. Question them. Ooh, that's a good idea. Ooh, you know what? That was very close, but it's still <laughs> no way. I gotta give the I gotta give a point to the guy who said interrogate. To grill means uh, to stare at, or why you grilling me, son? Oh, son. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know the funny... like for real. It's about to be a problem. B. <laughs> the funny part about this is every word that you that that you've said tonight, Sid is going to use in a sentence tomorrow. <laughs> I, I use all these words regularly, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know. 
Let's think about my trap house. All right. you know what I'm it is now Jess's turn. All right, Jess. So. Your word is wavy. Man, I'm trying to be sexy. Wait, what, what's the word now? Don't, wavy. Wa- wavy. Okay, right. <laughs> wavy. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, I changed my mind. Wavy means like you're you're ecstatic about something. You're you're happy about it. You're you're excited. That's pretty close. That is pretty close, but Ooh, he likes enough. that buzzer. Damn buzzer. Not close enough. All right, Sid. TNT, here's what I got for you. I'm thinking what's that? Uh high and low. Uh you ever heard the Katy Perry song Hot and Cold? It means not committal. Means happy about something, then you back out. Bipolar, oh, kinda. Except with your decision making and your attitude wow, you, and your energy. You took you took that to a whole psychiatric level where I feel like I have to reinterpret some of my life decisions. <laughs> and I appreciate that, but oh, come not come the on. answer we were looking we for here at the crazy right, Jonas town. is going to ask for it in a sentence. Oh. Jonas, you asked for it in a sentence. That might be one of the best moves that you've Because <laughs> so far they've been not very good. Okay, in a sentence would be, all right, my mans, if I get up out my seat, you won't be acting all wavy. Oh, son. <laughs> like you're a tough guy. That, that's close, but not close enough. <sighs> wavy is to be acting cool. Oh, okay. okay. Just, all right. That's all it means. You guys, man, I, you know, I really thought that you being from West Virginia is that 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 these New York terms would have leaked over <laughs> through the well, border. Well, to be fair, TNT, I only missed one. <laughs> that's, that's true. He's, he's I listen to a lot of Fifty Cent Middle listen. School, son. I'll let... <laughs> all right. Well, I'm telling you, it, it's going to help you in in some of these. We only got a few more New York, and then we're going to okay. move on. I to listen to the game too. You know, I'm saying, hater, love it. The underdogs on top. <laughs> Yo, we should just do a whole podcast with with these guys doing rap lyrics. <laughs> TNT, I, I'm gonna shine until my heart stop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, I'm done. Beautiful. All right, Sid gets first go. All right. Oh, I didn't give a point. Who do I give the point Who to? Who you give the point to? Let's give it to Jess. Jess? Yeah. yeah. He's on the scoreboard. Who's 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 point? Who's who's, who's seven to one to nothing? <laughs> you have no points, <laughs> dude. And it's written all over your face right now. Man, I yeah. thought I was coming to play a different game. We're so. playing. Are this is are you urban? These are There's real. No room to be entertaining and fun. There is that. plenty of room to be entertaining. <laughs> These guys are doing it anyway. Your word uh, is sus. Do we need to leave the room? <laughs> no. That's okay. Fine. Okay. <laughs> Another Quaalude, he'll love me in the morning. <laughs> Your word is sus. Sus? Yes. Can you sus. use that in a sentence? Absolutely. Lil Uzi Vert be doing some sus activity. His music's cool. Suspect. Oh! The, the, the Lil Uzi Vert is suspect. Suspect. I actually knew that. <laughs> Did you know that one? It's like all the ones he's got right, I've kn- I knew yeah, too. Yeah, tell me about it, the story of my life. <laughs> I've played every episode of this ever. Man, shit. Is, is it your turn now? It is my turn. Look, I think you got this one. All right. This is an easy one. Nope. This is a layup. Nope. Today's word is tight. Can you use a sentence? Cause I Absolutely. I, I just... <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. I just left Darnell's tight. I'm sorry. I just left Darnell's house. And man, was his mom tight. I hope he's okay. Looking good. Mmm. Joni, Joni, Joni. Joni! I'm sorry, man. my man. I really want to give these to you. Buzz him. <laughs> I really do. Who's next? This yes. Six? Yes. Okay, so in that sentence, you said yes. his mother's real tight. 
Don't hope get he's, nasty. I hope, okay. little, I hope he's okay. It's a little. I hope he's okay. So, <laughs> just just from context, I'm not going to be nasty. Yeah, this is New York. Remember, his his it's mother's upset local. about something. She's distraught. She's like great. She got pride. I'm upset. <laughs> you know. That is that's the answer. Yeah, yeah. I come to play. <laughs> Hell I, yeah. I basically gave it to you in the city yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. but <laughs> here's talking to Jones. Yeah, he, talk to <laughs> he gave it to all of us with the sentence. <laughs> now you're making fun of him. Oh. What? Uh... <laughs> what a bastard! <laughs> Sorry, my bad. All right, we got. I'm about, I'm about halfway yeah. through my second Mick Ulti. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We got one more word, in New okay. York, and it's going to go to you. Got it. Your word goes to Jess. Goes to Sid. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, my turn. Yeah. yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Your word is thirsty. Thirsty. It means the chick is hot. Everybody's, everybody's after that no, chick. No, everybody's after that no, chick. No, no. What are you talking about? No, no. Everybody's after that chick. They look at all her Instagram photos. Steal the damn words. Do what? No oh. way. That's, it's not that the chick is hot, though. Though most chicks are are hot in their own way, we like women. I appreciate your you're trying to appeal to our female demographic. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the point one percent. Well, our female demographic is low, so I was just guessing on y'all. Y'all might have point one. We got zero. Like that's it. None. <laughs> it's just a bunch of bearded bastards sitting around laughing. <laughs> they just want to hear us. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, I know a lot of thirsty bitches. <laughs> okay, and thirsty means she wants it too bad, and she's showing it to everybody. That that is true. Oh That's my thirsty. god! I fucking knew it. He's still right before it me. happened. God, damn it, man! You've not been on this end of the battlefield, man. You don't know what it's like over there. I don't. This is what it's like. I guess you gotta come up with shit quick, man. If you don't know what it is, come up with a good answer. <laughs> Guess what, guys? We're moving. Get on the fucking imaginary plane of Urban Dictionary, and we're going to California. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> so right. I hope you're freaking ready. No. All right, just for uh, shits and giggles, the score is 10, Sid, Jess 3, Jonas 2. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so I'm surprised you haven't thrown the controller by now. All right, let's see. Who's start, who's, who are we starting with? Uh... Oh, so my turn. turn. Yep. Shit. <laughs> yep, Sid, then Jonas. All right. Your word, California, mind you, we know how to party, is grip. 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 I, we went out to Cali, and I'm just, I'm lost. Grip. <laughs> oh, you're all that 50 cent listening. Oh, you know, good now. <laughs> no, now I'm you got to brush up on your Snoop Dogg Kendrick. Tupac, son. I like B. I like 50. <laughs> I don't listen to Pac. Okay. <laughs> so, can you use that in a sentence? Absolutely. <laughs> I asked my mom's for tr- for ice cream money, and she gave me a grip of coins. Handful. Yeah, you know what, man? You know I'm going to make it a little misleading for you in these sentences. <laughs> oh shit! Son of a bitch! So <laughs> that, that is not, too, that, too, that is not the opening answer close right there. You know, what I'm I knew better. Yeah, it's not going to be on the nose. I knew better. That's, that's it. Jonas, take this one home. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. A grip of coins. It would be a... I was going to say... Hand Come on, too. That's Come on, Joni. Get, get on the fucking scoreboard, <laughs> man. We know this. You know yeah. this. I'm not helping him, but I'm looking him deep in the eye, and I'm trying to give him the answer just through looks. Oh. Uh, I, I've got, I've got, got a enough. t-shirt in my head. A fucking a, a dollar's worth of coins. I don't fucking know, dude. That's 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 your answer. Yes, it is. Give me the fucking buzzer. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. All right, it goes. It goes to our final contestant as of right now. Yes, right. A grip yes. of coins. Yes. As much it, it, it's very much like the phrase, uh, you know, hope in one hand and shit in the other. Which one's going to fill up faster? A grip of coins is pretty much giving you no money and saying, "Get the hell out of my face." Wow, the exact. 
polar opposite oh, to yeah. the answer. Oh. To get a grip of coins is to get a large amount. Oh, yeah. oh she gave me a grip of coins. Interesting. I can't put that emphasis when I'm reading a sentence, but you, come on. <laughs> and... <laughs> You listen to rap music. I do. Have <laughs> <laughs> you not been paying attention? <laughs> All right, who's next? It's you. Who got the pity point? Oh, yeah. The first answer. That's your boy. The hand Another hand. point? All right. There we go. Sid's up 11 to 3. Damn, to zero. He has a chance story. to catch up, believe me. <laughs> what? He has a chance to catch up, believe me. Who else has a chance you, to catch up? Everybody has a chance to catch up. I don't know about that. <laughs> 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 Come on, big guy. It's all right. It's, put, my, it's my turn. Put Let's that, go. Turn that smile upside down. Turn that smile upside down. Get frowny about it. Oh my god, this one's not easy. <laughs> Dude, it's fine. I'm fine with my goose egg. It's all right, fine. your your word, Jonas, is cool off. I need it in a sentence, man. You got it. Uh, nah, man. I'm cool off wings. Good looks, though. Not interested. Don't want any. Very good. Yeah, look at me. <laughs> I will not <have> be <laughs> shut out. <laughs> You're not going to have a brown season on the show. Very good. Uh, Yay. I didn't know if you would get that. Who's next on our list? Jess. Jess. Your word is to swoop. I'm going to have to ask sentence, please. Absolutely. Swooped a piece of cake and ate it in the car. Okay, swoop. Okay, swoop is to to grab real quick. Just take with you. It is that, but... On the slide. <laughs> On the slide? That makes no On sense. The, wait, wait, real quick. Do I count that? I'm going to give it to him. You're the host, man. I'm going to give it to Yellow. him. There we go. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is to pick no, up or buzzer. steal. Pick up or steal. It's to pick up or steal. When he said on the slide. That is oh. like you're ringing the buzzer. Oh. <laughs> the sound effect hasn't taken place yet. <laughs> I had no idea. I'll, I'll give it to him. Well, no. I'm going to give it to him. Welcome back. Who's next? Sid? Yes. Sid. It's Sid. his turn. Okay, Sid. I just got a point, so. My good sir, your word is late. Late. Sentence, please. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I love this game. <laughs> I'm I'm a cruise by the crib, comma, late. Later. I mean, yeah, if we were from West Virginia, that would be fine, but we're from California right oh. now. We're all Californians. When you're here, you're family. Okay. Jonas? Hmm. Yeah, swing by the crib late. Comma, late. Damn it. Comma. Is he talking about the rapper? Comma. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Comma. The rapper who's no, an actor not, and everything. Not, not comma. We get those bootlegs up here. It says comma on the CD. Yeah. I mean, the titles are all just a little different. Think, 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 Californian beach bum. You can do. I wish I could do the the impression. I would. Oh, dude, I'm gonna swing by uh, the crib late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I know, dude. I'm. Uh, that actually confused me more. Late at <laughs> night. I don't fuck. Just give me a fucking buzzer, dude. No, you gotta put something down. Using real words fucks me up, man. I'm ready for some crazy real, shit. It's a, it's a fucking... <laughs> All right, this is crazy shit because it's getting you guys. You guys ain't figuring. Out I know it. One of you are. Yeah. Do you? Okay. Light means ttyl. Talk to you soon. Aha. Let's... That's the right answer. That is the there right answer. Yo. It is short <laughs> for later. Short for later. Eleven to seven to one. <laughs> Damn, just me. catching up. It's still anybody's it game. California ah, no, it's it's still uh, anybody's uh, game. <laughs> Damn, I hate it when we got to <laughs> I was killing it in New York. <laughs> Whose turn? It is. Whose turn is it? Uh, yes. 
It's Jack. No, it's uh, mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was Sid's word first. Okay. Because he got three points on that one. <sighs> got to change the scoring scheme when I'm in office. <laughs> Your word. This is going to be. <laughs> you're not getting this one either. Your word is Cuddy. C U T T Y. Cuddy. Use it in a sentence for me, please. You got so. it. I was driving through the cuts and got pulled over by the cops. Cuddy as fuck. It was to be profiled. Joni, I love you like a brother, man, but that is the wrong answer. Hey, man. It's fine. <laughs> it's got to be. It's got to be. It's fine, dude. Who, who takes go. over from there? Uh, Jess. Jess. Cutting. Well, all I can think of is the cuts would be the hood. Just a different word for the hood. Maybe a nicer part of the hood where you know shit ain't yeah. going to go down, but you still need to be careful. So cutting would be. All right. Well, if I were. If, keep okay, it out on yeah. your back. You know what I'm saying? That's close, but it's no cigar. No, uh, no, that's 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 basically Wait, oh, it. Right, that's yeah, basically yeah, it. See, cuddy means sketchy. It means sketchy. sketchy. Yeah, cuddy, cuddy, cuts is another name but, for the That's why but I put I it in there. And cuddy that. just means that it's very, very sketchy. Jesus, man, he's cleaning up. It means. Hey, it's still yeah. Well, now it's eleven to nine to one. So it's, still, it's, it's a game between still, those two. At least. It's still yeah. anybody's game. All you gotta do is think with your urban mind. You live with me. I know. Man. Thought some of this would have brushed <laughs> off. Yeah, man. I was. I was thinking I was coming to a different. All game, these man. chance glances that I've given you in in the hallway, and you've never Jeez, once. Chance glances. <laughs> hey, I don't know if that's urban or what. I don't call that urban. <laughs> okay. <laughs> call that something else. It's all right. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one's Jess. All no. right, Jess. Your word is a dusty. Wow. Uh, dusty. Sentence, please. Absolutely. Trish is bringing her friends over. I heard her friends are dusty. <laughs> Bitchy. Nasty. Don't want to be around them. Those are. Yes, that is exactly the oh, right answer. Yeah. When you think about it, would you want to hang around a dusty woman? No. no. Undesirable. It's turned into a game for those two guys. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven to look, ten to one. Look, man, you've been you've been coaching for a long time. You've been a ring announcer for a long time. It's rough when you're in the ring. <laughs> all right, it's rough you when you're in the ring. <laughs> I know, dude. I it's, do. It's still anybody's game except <laughs> if, I, if I lose this to Jess, I'm burning. I'm burning this place down. <laughs> and I'm burning it down. You guys are jocking well, for What's position. the score here? Uh, it's eleven to ten. Oh my god! And you have one. Don't even. I'm not even in it. You're I, in it. I don't count. I got one point. <laughs> All right, whose turn is it? It's yours. It's right? Sid's, Sid's yeah. turn. Yeah. All right. Your word is yadamine. Yadadamine. I'm sorry. I mispronounced it. Yadadamine. Uh, I, I need a sentence here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, I need you home by nine. An answer to that would be yadadamine. So, so the person that replied said yadadamine. Yeah, it can go either way. But in your sentence, the person who replies. Yes. It means I got you. I understand. Yeah, that's right. You know, that's close. But that's not quite it. I'm sorry. I can't give that to you. Sorry. How about... Your data mean. I don't agree, but I'm going to do it. What are you going to do? Oh, I don't agree with what you're saying, but I'm going to. I thought you were making it. That's got to be it. <laughs> oh, shit. He sees me lifting up the phone uh, to give him the buzz. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Get that a mean. Uh, it means. This is. It means polar opposite. California. It means polar opposite. They said, be home by nine. He said, kiss my ass. Nope. 
Yeah. I'm sorry. Your data mean just means you know what I mean. Your data mean. Why would the person reply, you know what I you I need you home by nine and he replies, look, you know this, what I mean? Look, you hit us with a robot in one of these fucking <laughs> episodes. That had nothing to That's do true. with the word. I don't know why Californians say this, but these are actual words hmm. that Californians use. Hmm. Trust me. Interesting. Actual words. I'm not like this is this is stuff that you if you're going to California you start using this they're gonna think you're right from the cut. <laughs> <laughs> Who gets the point, man? Who gets the point? Oh, uh, what 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 was what was Jess's answer? What did polar say? opposites? She said, "Be home by nine. No, that's not. I right. told her kiss my ass. Nah, nah, it was Sid. Then Sid gets that. Oh, point. we're pulling away now, bitch. <laughs> it was the closest, honestly. We'll see, because it basically is confirmation. We'll I got see. you. It is mine. It is yours. Okay, your word is slaps. I need a sense. <laughs> Absolutely. Yo, my dude, that new Nipsey Hustle slaps. <laughs> it's fucking really good. It's awesome. Yes. Awesome. I keep getting the one point. <laughs> you got, you got, hey, I got two points now. Was, <laughs> slaps. <Come> on, hey. <laughs> Slaps, this means the catchy hit pop song. What, what, what right. is a banger? <laughs> banger is also, a, but that's that's New York terminology. Oh, that, right. was, that was our last I'm stuck over here. Okay. All right. New York. All right. I think we got one more. Yeah, well, In California? Yeah, one more in Cali. It's the, Jess's. It's Jess's. I live in Cali. Your word is on mamas. Wow. On mamas. Ask. Give me a sentence. Yes. I smashed his sister last night. Yeah, right. On mamas? It means like, for real? You serious? <sighs> Come on now. Yeah. No, I, love I know what the real answer is. <laughs> I can give you the definitive definition. You swear on your mother's grave? <laughs> that that's the truth, bitch? But he's bad. He's got. That's what he said. Basically, I hate to give it. Yeah, yeah that's All right. right. You got to get if he's close enough, man. He's I'm close enough. It yeah, it's a uh, twelve to eleven to two. Oh shit, two points, man. Where are we flying to now, T? We flying to the ATL, Son. the well, good old South. I, yes, uh, sure. I'm gonna get left behind here. Just listen to a lot. Of <laughs> <laughs> I listened to Luda back in the day, so we'll see. All right, who? Sid. It's Sid. Your word is guala. Oh my god. Guala. Send us, please. TNT. Absolutely. All I ever wanted was some motherfucking guala. That leaves it up to me about just about anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's from a song. <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually from a Migo song. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, you don't know that shit. I know, know it. Know it. From All I ever wanted was some respect. All I ever wanted was some. Is that your is that your final answer, sir? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I would like to inform you that. <laughs> oh, you think you're slick with that buzzer? <laughs> <laughs> All I ever wanted was some guala, huh? Comes guala. Guala. G U A L A. I thought it had two L's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that changed totally changed my answer. Uh, All I ever wanted was some guala. How about cash money? Badass. That is the right fucking answer. I got I got four motherfucking points. You would be surprised how many words there are for money. <laughs> for money, man, I'm still down by a lot, guys. You Don't might worry. you might be fine. It's my po- oh, it's my word now too. It's your Uh-oh, word. Oh shit. Okay. Good thing I'm not from the ATL. Though. <laughs> this might this one might actually be good. Uh oh. This is a very common word. That the kids are using in the streets. Oh shit, the millennials. Okay. Yeah, I'm out there with them, and we're always using this word. Your All word. Right, what is it? Yeet. Use it in a sentence for me. Uh, hey, do you want to see some back shots of my girlfriend? I sure do. Yeet. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh. Yeah, it's misleading, man. It's a. It's a. Uh, term that shows excitement and that you want to see him it's hot 
That's pretty good, Jonas. <laughs> oh, no. no. Jess. Okay. Just because he got the buzzer on that one, I'm going to go polar opposite. He thinks that chick is nasty. He thinks she's dusty. Wow. This guy is really quick. Damn. But oh, wrong. Damn. Very wrong. Sid. Means I'm excited. Show me that titty pig. That's right. No, because Jonas just said he was excited. That's wrong. Oh. Well, Let's see that back. Though. Okay. Well, fuck That's you. what it means. <laughs> You're getting it too. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeet just means psych or you played yourself. Oh. oh okay. Like. Like, no, I don't want to see no pictures of your fucking ugly girl. <laughs> I told you they're misleading. <laughs> hey, you didn't, I assumed she was a good-looking chick. <laughs> well, <laughs> who gets the pity point on that one? You get it, man. I, what? You get oh, it. Oh, shit. It was okay. only two answers. He copied your answer. I, I all, right. <laughs> all right. All right. We, we got a game to one. Jess is You know what I'm saying? All right, Jess, your word is lick. Oh, <laughs> Don't yeah. butthole. <laughs> I'm saying. Sorry. It's the season. Hashtag. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sentence, please. Absolutely. Yo, fam, put your camera down. Snapping pictures and shit. You looking like a lick right now. Like a bitch. That's what I'm supposed to say. Like a bitch. So, yeah, it's not like a bitch. It's much more Sid. deep. It's much more deep than that. Thank you. Hmm. A piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you say I went to the bathroom because I got to take a lick? <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrongest answer of them all. Okay. Uh, a show off. Like a someone who's trying to like ex- be like show off what they're doing like a uh, extravagance like like an internet like showing their shit off on Instagram trying to make everybody jealous that kind of thing. Damn it! No, put your camera down. Stop snapping pictures and shit. You're looking like a lick right now. What's that? You you. If you're looking like a lick, you're looking, you're looking uh, like a person that's whoa, easy whoa, to I extract money from. Oh oh! I thought you said piece of shit. Yeah, oh, that was me. He, 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 he gives like two or three answers at a time. <laughs> No. Oh, I didn't realize. You yeah, y'all been, y'all been giving points to this bastard. It's nice. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, every point I've made, I've earned. <laughs> he got his buzzer, though. Yeah, he got a buzzer. I gave a buzzer. He just told what the answer is. I guess we're going to cancel that we'll word out. Cancel yeah, we'll, we'll yeah that point skip that one. That's fine. I was That's wrong fine. anyways. All right. One answer. Yeah. <laughs> You guys have similar accents. I'm not going to lie. It's a little, it gets a little different we are brothers, sometimes. So. Yeah, yeah. I'd expect. That. <laughs> who's 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 whose word is this? This is yours. Uh, third was me. It's Sid's. Sid. Hey, here go. Your word is plug. My dealer. Yeah, that's right. That's it, yeah. Okay. That's All right. Score is thirteen to eleven to five. Uh, Jonas, we got uh, this. We can beat him. This, this is my is, word. <laughs> this is your word. If we combine our damn points, we. Can <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, these these the last two are not easy in this, ATL. This is the last two period. These are the last okay. two in ATL. Okay. Your word, Jonas, is JIT. J I T. I get all the fucking hard JIT. words, man. Oh, Go ahead, yeah, write a sentence because I ain't gonna get that without it. Somebody better come and get their JIT before I have to get my pistol. Let me just get my buzzer ready now. Cause wow, somebody wow. Have to get their jit, or I'm having to get my pistol. Yeah. ATL, we're in the South. Uh, Get their, I don't know, man, get their shit. I don't know. Get their shit? Get their <laughs> shit. Get their stuff. Come get their fucking belongings. Jonas, I need you to be creative. Think about what Dude, a southerner... knowing that these are real words that people use. <clears throat> in the rest of the game, we use shit that no one ever uses. Knowing that they're real, I, we, my mind is broken. We absolutely, lo- we absolutely have used real words before. Yeah, we have. But if through it like put you put in a locate it's throwing me off. One man. of one of the words was cougar. From, from your yeah, life. man, it's just it's throwing me off secular. I'm, I'm so, it off by the Jonas country. has got the sour puss face I, on right I, now. I was, I was 
was not ready. Hey, I'm sorry you weren't okay. ready, man. It's, I wasn't it, ready. It, it's, it's my own fault. I ain't blaming anybody but Jonas. It's hard in the ring, man. It is hard in the ring. Now you gotta appreciate why I, I kept this belt for so long. <laughs> I do. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Who's next? Uh, it's, uh, Jess, you're with Jit. Jet. Jit. Yes. Jit. Yes. Somebody better come and get their jit before I have to get my pistol. Drugs? No. Is that your final answer? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. You already said it. Ah, yeah, drugs. Is it? (laughs) Oh, well, congratulations. You get the wrong answer. Sid. Well, guys, this is what you would say if somebody's dumbass, punk-ass buddy was over there acting a fool. Somebody put, better come and get their dumbass buddy, their jit, before I bust his ass. Wow. No! Well, that was that's wrong. While, while that was wrong, that was the very closest. A jit is a small child that don't know nothing. <laughs> yeah. Unquote. Interesting. That was the closest answer, so he gets the point with that one because he was the only one that chose a human, wow. a living, yeah, a living, that's true. That's true. living creature. Win. All right, it's fourteen to eleven to five. Bam. All right, let's see. What's that? Got him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on top this time, guys. I'm feeling good today. I hope so. All right, I want you to get your game face on. This one's this one's kind of a layup, though. Your word is finesse. No, that's not what I thought. Yeah. Same about that new Drake album. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It means handling a situation with care. Wow. It's you know? just this question. <laughs> oh, fuck. It no. Means- it means handling a situation with care. <laughs> no. Is that your final well, that's answer? That's my final answer. Okay, well, it's absolutely oh, wrong. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't know that was my. I didn't know that was that was my word. <laughs> Sid, what do you what do you got? Let's see. Okay, Vanessa. Damn it, I know it. Vanessa. Oh, shit, that was my final. <laughs> no, I mean it's not, but it was. <laughs> what do we? What do you think? It could be so many things, right? Vanessa. Could it, means, uh, it means it means tiptoeing around a situation with your girl. Nope. I'm sorry. That, oh, that, is, that is not it. All right. Well, Jonas is going to ask for the sentence. That's a good no idea, it. Jonas. Yo, my N word. How did Latrell get that whip? Probably finessing the plug. Oh no, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, what now? What, what was that TNT? <laughs> Yo, my oh, N word. Okay. How did, <laughs> <laughs> did uh, Latrell get that whip? Probably finessing the plug. Sleeping with fucking. <laughs> what? <laughs> the plug's <laughs> Yo, that's, 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 she wants the car, so she fucks the drug dealer to get the car. Well, I think that's that. pretty legitimate to say. We're talking street well here, son. Yo, you know what? We we appreciate the intricacies that it took to come up with that answer, Jonas. I'm definitely giving you the point. All that right. is, that okay. is so wrong. You only get the pity point. <laughs> All right. That is so wrong. It, well, it, it, it means it. being deceitful. But, uh, that, that's the right so answer. So they got a car by being deceitful to the well, they, they, they Finessing the plug. The truth, for sure. Yeah. Finessing the plug is a very common u- utilized uh, phrase for basically stealing from the drug dealer. Being deceitful. Oh, okay. Hey. I got you. All right. So if you I'll are being if, point. if you are being finessed, you're being stolen from. Oh, okay, I got you. So they stole a car from the drug dealer. Holy shit. Yeah. They're about to get killed. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys are I hope you guys are ready for this. All right. It is uh let me get the let me get the score. Yeah, let's what's the score it right is now? Fourteen Sid, eleven Jess, Jonas only got six. Okay. All right. That's fine, we're, because we're in the lightning round. Oh, no! There's a lightning round! He didn't know it. The lightning round is called Money, Weed, or Both. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm going to give you words, and you're going to tell me one by one if they're money, weed, or both. Money, weed, or both. Yeah. All right. Uh, lightning round. Every, <gasps> is everyone worth a point? 
Uh, everyone's worth two points. See, they oh, can, okay. This isn't even the same game, but make you know it, what? It's all right. Yeah, make what it two if Jonas comes back and wins this thing? I told you it's anybody's yeah. game. Wow. You weren't well, expect- I thought we were playing Are You Urban. I didn't realize we were playing Travel the World with TNT and Money Weed and both. That's an entirely different game, but I like it. I'm sorry. I thought that all of these were urban words. I guarantee <laughs> if you look every single one of no, these no. words up in uh, Urban Dictionary. Now let's do it. I'm ready. You're damn right. <laughs> Right, who's first? Okay, who's now first? this is it. This is the end of the game. This is the end. How many words do we have to go through? Are we all going to get a get an even amount? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So we all get a chance to answer these, right? <laughs> There's only no, three. It's no, only, it's only one person either gets it or okay, not. We're just going to go through and the words. And you get two points for every right, right answer. Yep. Money, weed, or both. Yep. Okay. So we'll start with, it's, uh, we'll start to start with Sid. So there's a three, and the wall get an even amount? Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, this is lightning round, so we're gonna go quick. It's Sid, then Jess, then you, yeah, or Sid, or you. Yeah, give me time you. to like mark the paper. So it goes Sid, then you, then Jess. Yes. All right. So Sid, your word is Benji. Is that money, weed, or both? Money. Correct. Uh, Jonas, your word is cheese. Money, weed, or both? Both. Wrong. Mm. Jess, your word is broccoli. Money, weed, or weed. both? Sorry, that's both. Oh, shit. Sid. <laughs> Sid, your word is a squirrel. Money, money, money both. Absolutely. Damn it. Uh, all right. Who's next? Me. You? Your word is dime. Money, weed, or both. Both. That's okay. Great. All right. <laughs> Jess, yours is doja. Money, weed, or both. Weed. Jess, I was in weed. <laughs> <laughs> It's in the past. Sid, your word, your word, payola, money, weed, or both? Money. Yes, money. Jonas, your word, <laughs> your word is green. Both. Oh, <laughs> Jonas. <laughs> Swing in the big stick. Right. <laughs> Jess, Jess, your word is Jackson, money, money. weed, or both? Money. Damn. Sid, your word, spinach, money, weed, or both? Money. Weed. Come on, man. Spinach? That is weed. <laughs> money? That was weed. This is a joke. Yeah, I did extensive research just so you guys know on all of these words. Spinach is a plant that grows at the ground. What is weed? It's a plant that grows at the ground. It is. It is. Spinach Excuse is me, weed. TNT. Yeah, money. Yes. Uh, control your guess here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to ask you to sit the fuck down. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, you got it. All Jonas, right. Jonas, your word is rack. Money. Absolutely. Uh, yes. Sid, Jess, yes. your word is dagger. Shit. Money. Sorry. I what? Can't... Who the, what kind of, what kind of, what is a dagger? How much is a dagger? It grows in the ground. Hey, kid. <laughs> Jess has no idea here. And he wants to, he wants to play me out. Jess, Jess your word Sid. is, oh, Sid, I'm sorry. Your word is nickel. Money, weed, or both. That's right. Yes, huh? Jonas. Jonas, your word is paper. Money, weed, or both. Money. Okay. Jess. Jess, your word is diesel. Money, weed, or both? Check. <laughs> Sorry. Both. <laughs> both. <laughs> I like that. Diesel for both? No, that's weed. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Smoking on that diesel? Yeah, but you got have, you got have cash to fill up your tank. Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> come on. I drive a pickup. I love it, man. I almost want to give it to him. All right. Your word is relish. Sid, your words relish. Money, weed, or both. both. Sorry, that's money. Oh, shit. Jonas. I thought that was weed. Jonas, your word is endo. Oh. Weed. Money. That was the easiest. Come thing. on. Endo. I'm sorry. It was the easy. Your, Jess, your, word, Jess, hurt. your word is. <laughs> <laughs> Jess, your word is dub. Money, weed, it's or both. It's what now? Dub. Money, weed, or both. Dub? Yeah. Yes. Money. No, that would be Damn both. it. Nah. Sid. 
Sid, your word is shit. Money weeder. My word is shit. Yeah, shit, like a turd. You got that shit. Both. Absolutely. <laughs> I, 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 I wish you guys could have seen his face because he wasn't sure about it. He said both, and his eyes got real big and he got a little nervous. <laughs> We're jacked up over Jonas, here. Jonas, cake. <laughs> cake. Your cake. Way. Yeah. Money, weed, or cake, both. Cake. Uh, money. Cake, cake. Yes. Ass. Jess. <laughs> Jess, yours is BC. BC. Money, weed, or both. BC birth control. <laughs> I don't know, so I'm just gonna give it a toss up, and it is we. It is BC All bluff. Right. Damn right, Jess or Sid. Sid, your word is blue cheese. We. No, that's money. It's referring to the to the blue faced hundreds. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. I don't have any hundreds, you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> Jonas. Well, all right, Jonas. Your word is cream. Cream. Trying to get the money. Tell us. Uh, uh, money. No. <laughs> I, I knew that. I was gonna say money. Anyway. I was gonna say you just gave it. Yeah. To me. Well, it's all Jess. about fun and games. <laughs> yeah. Just your word. Just your word. Quarter. Money. Both. We are both. <laughs> Yes. He used to buy my quarter. <laughs> the bo- the both. <laughs> you don't want to divulge that information over. You know, we don't. It's, le- it's not legal in Texas, Texas yet. No, 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 it's not in North Carolina no, either. Even you say it. No, there's so many Trump picket signs in Texas, man. You're never getting that. Uh, uh, listen, <laughs> North Carolina is just bad. Like we're we're like right behind Texas as far as far as conservativeness. We're like right there. <laughs> oh, that's uh, true. Yeah, I can see yeah. that. Yeah. Said your word, devil's lettuce. We and both. You know what I'm saying? No, let. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's weed though. Lettuce is both weed. Jonas. Devil's lettuce. Your word, kill. Kill. Yeah. Uh, weed. Absolutely. J- Jess. Jess, your word is duck it. Okay. Money. Absolutely. Like TJ Duck. <laughs> Formerly of the Atlanta Falcons. <laughs> we got. We got a few more. We got a few more. Sid. Sid, your word, simoleons. Money. Simoleons, yes. yeah. Jonas. Jonas, your word, smacker. Uh, money. Yes. Come on. Yes. Jess. <laughs> Jess, your word is chips. Money. It's both. It's both? Mm. It what is. What the hell? Sid. I'm sorry, man. Uh, Sid, your word is milk. Milk? Yeah. Money. It is. Milk and honey. <laughs> Jonas. Jonas, your word, Chiba. Smoking that Chiba, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> These guys know more about this this weed business than I thought they did. I had to do research to, to gather this information. I went to college for six months. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's Jess. Jess cabbage. Both. It is. Yes. All right, one more for each of you, and then we're gonna call it. We're gonna get to see what the score is. Who's up right now? Uh, Sid. Uh, uh, Sid's gonna win. <laughs> we, it's impossible. It's well, no, you it's impossible. You gotta have some suspension. How am I gonna have suspense if I tell the score? You're gonna know he can't win. No, we're well, da- we're both down by more than two points, so it doesn't matter. I know, but the viewer. The last. Know. But, okay. If I, Okay, okay all right, hold on. This. Scratch that, guys. Here we go. Sid has 30. Jonas has 26. And Jess has 23. What? But you... So, Sid's up by more than <laughs> two wait, points, wait, wait, wait. so he's going to win. I got win. a deal. I got a deal. <laughs> What's the that? last question for each of us is worth 10 points. Oh. Big money. Do you, you or want, weed or both. You want to do that? <laughs> All right, I got to give you a hard one then, right? I'm up for it. What? Wait, who are we starting with, Sid? Okay, yeah. ten points. Is, is y'all so, good with that? Ten I, points I, for this one? All right. Basically, yeah. I mean, whatever. I'm good with whatever, man. All right. Well, fine. We're laying it all online. We're we're going off the rails. All the chips are on the table, like son. This. 
All right. Your word, wizard. I didn't agree to this, but uh, <laughs> but that's weed. It is weed. <laughs> so, so Sid won. So even word. if we get 10 points, yeah. we're not going to win. Anyways, Jonas. Jonas, your word, Guy Smiley. <laughs> Sounds like a dick. Guy Smiley. Uh, we'll go with uh, money. It's weed. Uh, that's fine. Makes you smile, guy. I guess so. Makes you smile, And guy. Jess. <laughs> what up? Uh, Jess, your word is... Wow, I gotta give you a hard one here. Yard. Weed. No, a yard is money. It refers to a hundred dollars. A yard bill. is grass. Grass is weed. <laughs> you don't smoke the yard. No. I'm but sorry. you cut the yard, and then it's like little leaves, like hot leaves, <laughs> and you smoke the pot. You're done. That is a valid oh. argument, good sir. Well, Sid won the first and ever only TNT Travel the World International well, bonus round money. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just want to say, um, I want to thank my family. Oh my God, scratch that. I want to thank. <laughs> I want to thank TNT for being here. I want to thank TNT for. <laughs> I want to thank Jonas for having me on. I want to thank I want to thank the listeners for for believing in me. Jonas, TNT, Sid, I have a proposition. No, you're done. No, 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 it ain't for me. It ain't for me. Okay. We need to have whether it be on the Beardy Five or Crazy Town a a grudge match. Are you urban between Sid? And TNT. But TNT's beat me already. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, but... Multiple times. I don't think I can do it. You want me to come in out of retirement? No. I, I want you to bring the belt out. I at least I 100 million. million. I, I want you to bring the belt out and say, bitch, please. <laughs> oh, shit. My jersey's already up in the rafters. You're asking me to come out of come retirement. Out of retirement. And spend the time with my kids. For the White Sox farm team. So forget, I'm... About, forget about playing <laughs> baseball. Come back to the Bulls, Jordan. <laughs> Yo, you invite us to you invite us to the Beardy Five podcast and I'll, I'll okay. oh, oh, yeah. Son. yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. And how about this? Jess, you get five words, I get five words, and we'll we'll co host oh, Sid versus yeah. TNT. Oh, shit. It's the crossover they've been asking for. Wow. <laughs> So go to Urban Dictionary. You find five random ass words. I'll pull out five random ass words, and that'll be the ten words for their grudge match. Just the FYI, the Titans. TNT, I'm coming for you. Oh, I should all hope right, so. All right, you guys. Yeah, you just you get a hold of me. Let me know when we we'll make it work on on whatever day. We'll, as long as we can call them via Skype. Right? So off the record, you guys promised me a thousand dollars if I won. <laughs> <laughs> And me 50 There's no gambling balls. involved with Are You Urban, Sid. <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. I, Good luck getting listen, that out of my I bank account. Not them. I'm super urban. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on uh, our see our season two finale. Uh, do you want to let everybody know again where they can find you on the interwebs for the Beardy Five Pod? You can check us out on Instagram at the Beardy Five Pod. Hit us up on Twitter at the Beardy Five. Uh, thanks for having us on, guys. It was fun. Appreciate it. Oh, awesome! Yeah, no problem at all, guys. And we will be right back on the Crazy Town podcast. And we are back to wrap up the season finale episode of the Crazy Town podcast. TNT, I was not expecting that type of "Are you urban?" You son of a bitch. Yeah, I guess uh, you got you got to bring the heat, man. You got you got to be ready. You threw me off, dude. I thought it was gonna be something else. It was technically the same. You thing. son of a bitch. No, it wasn't. It was technically. I liked, <laughs> I liked the money weed or both. You did. Well, that was a nice fucking <laughs> a nice fucking twist. Yeah, dude. Words. You give me some definitions. Son of a bitch. So uh, that should be interesting if we work that out with the beardy guys. We do another uh, another are you urban type game on their podcast. They even suggested off air to do uh, "Are You Southern" or something, where we do like Southern. We should that. maybe do that. Maybe I'll tell them let's do "Are You Southern" and one of them can host. Me, you, and one of them will play. Yeah, that shit's funny. It'll all be fucking like North Carolina words, even though you kept saying West Virginia. I think you said you <laughs> you, you just thought it was West Virginia. You weren't being a dick, but I think they thought you yeah. may were being a dick. <laughs> like everything's from Florida, and everybody with a Southern draws from West Virginia. Okay, all right. all right, all right. So, so yeah, so we got that. 
Chachmeyer stopped by. Fucking Chachi hanging out again. Yep, always good to hear from him. I could not believe he sided with the fucking car salesman, dude. Yeah, that well, son of a bitch. You know, it made for good entertainment. It man. did. It did. It did. All right, but TNT. What? Is this it? This is it for the season, dude. Are season you, two is the, about over. Are you sad? I am. <laughs> I am. You know why? Because moving forward, the podcast is going to be different. Yeah. It's not going to be the same. You got some hard pills for you Speaking to swallow. Speaking of which, Crazy Town Media. Hard pills to swallow. I like that. Fucking drawback. Yeah. Follow Crazy Town Media on Twitch. That is where we will do the podcast live from. Uh, we will take the videos and put them up on the YouTube channel, and we'll also pull the audio and put it out. So if you're listening to the podcast, it'll still be the same way you've always listened to it. It'll just be pulled from the Twitch feed instead of us uh, editing it together beforehand. So twitch.com or twitch.tv forward slash crazy town media. Our website, of course. Crazytown.com, everything to do with Crazy Town Media. Anything we do moving forward on the YouTube channel or anything else we get into, there's going to be some new shit probably popping up. Get on that fucking website. Get on that website. Sign our fucking guest book. Yeah, <laughs> get the counter up. Those little counters at the bottom. Uh, also, our YouTube channel. That is, you can find everything. The podcasts, live streams. Twitch VODs, Twitch VODs, fucking gaming videos, concert videos, po everything. Crazy Town Media on YouTube. F subscribe to the channel, please. Also, Twitter. <laughs> We're on Twitter, too. <laughs> at the Crazy Town Pod is for the podcast only. At Crazy Town Media is for a cavalcade of all the Crazy Town shit. TNT. What's up? You have anything to say to wrap the season up? What do you want to tell everybody out there? Uh, don't love anybody. <laughs> yeah, don't love anybody and lick my balls, bitch. Lick my balls. <laughs> <laughs> so this was your first full season was as it? a co-host, man. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I guess so. I mean, you basically run every episode of the first season, except for like six or eight or something. But yeah. So yeah, so moving forward, going to be a little different. It'll be fucking fun, though. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it isn't a fucking disaster. I, actually, I kind of hope it is. It might be at first. Like, that would be great if it was a I'm disaster. I'm sure the first 10 episodes, like the first 10 episodes of the podcast were garbage. The first 10 episodes of the live, of the live show will probably be a fucking fiasco. Yeah. But it'll fit with us, man. It ain't like anything's a fucking... Yeah, man. You know, we, we come and we perform. That's what we're here to do. Yeah, exactly. It'll it'll work itself out, I'm sure. I'll do, I'm will do. i type A enough that I'll do enough prep that it, it won't be complete garbage. I just hope that the paychecks are bigger this this season. Yeah. <laughs> season three paychecks. Yeah. I've three times I've, the pay. I've been receiving offers. Well, we all remember what happened <laughs> to Chappelle's show before the third season of his show. He got the 50 mil, <laughs> we went crazy. You know what? He, he, I'm not even going to get into it. You go watch Chappelle sh the Chappelle Show stand up. He talks about that shit. He's like, I didn't go crazy. It's like the motherfuckers are trying to take me. But anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Review the show on iTunes. Check us out. I mean, I don't know what I have to say, man. It's been fucking fun. We're going to take a quick break for a couple months. Come back with some best ofs and shit to listen to. Come back live with the fucking fire this fall. Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> you think with as many times as we've closed the show out, this will well, be, this will to, be natural. I'm trying to say something more different. <laughs> but, and I didn't. <laughs> but I didn't. I was, just, I was just trying, man. All right. All right. For Jonas. <laughs> yeah. For TNT Dynamite. I'm here. We are out.